Hey, hi, Battletech. It's time for Battletech. We made it, Rob. We made it to Monday, to Mecha Monday. They said it couldn't be done, but we did it. We're here, and so is this giant robot. Actually, that's a lady. How you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm doing great. Uh, looking forward to my first uh, Mecha Monday with Finally. Uh, Battletech. Finally, you've made it. Uh, so, we're going to continue our campaign as Tire Fire. Uh, I have put a lot of time into this game now, Rob. Um, see, my main campaign now is a day 520, Holy 592. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't think it says, I don't think it gives me an hour count, but if I check Steam, Steam says 43 hours, so that's good. Um, uh, it's a pretty good game. I'm really, really enjoying it. And it's going to be really fun to go back in time to the beginning of this character's career, um... I just realized I have, like, my my two characters have, like, dueling fucking symbols. We have tire fires that we, we, we kind of worked really hard to make it really uh, perfect here with the sun and the moon and the kind of feeling of embers because we, we named our crew the Blast Embers. And then my main character has this kind of moon situation, but it's, like, blues and, and, dark, and like, dark. Yeah, like, it's very cool. It's cool versus hot. I love it. Um, I'll have to write. I'll have to write some fanfic about my two characters fighting each other now and also falling in love. Um, so, how are you doing? How's your playthrough of this game going? Uh, so it's going really well now. Um, like I, I think I mentioned this on the last stream. I restarted because when I went to the uh, public build after the reviewer build, my saves disappeared. Right. They've all shown back up. Like it oh, took a day, but like they're okay. back in the game. So I could continue my original campaign. But right. here's the problem. Uh, I am just on fire um, <laughs> as like playing through the early missions again. Like I keep, I am getting just crazy salvage uh, off of every mission. Uh, so like I haven't even done like the second story, well the third story mission yet in the campaign. But already like I've got a lance of mostly heavies. Wow! Uh, so I am Jeez. yeah, like I. All right, well, like, then you I can help me. Prison, like a speed bump. Nice. Okay, well, then you help me be good at this game. Um, where did we leave off? We left off We left off having completed the first couple of missions, right? Yeah. Uh, since... Uh, yeah, but not story missions. No, just like, just contracts. We have some bank. We got we got 977k in the bank. That looks like we're going to be able to last a few months on that. Our morale is steady at 20. I think we were going to maybe talk to some characters around the ship and get a vibe for who they were. Yeah. Do you want to start with Darius, maybe? Sounds great. All right. Uh, so, hi. Always good to see you at Ops Kendricks. Can I do something for you? I want to know more about our debt situation. Yeah, sure, that's fair. And I'm glad to see you're taking an interest. I've got time to get into the nuts and bolts of it if you do. What did you want to know? Listen, why did we take out so <laughs> many loans? That's like the fucking... <laughs> I, 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 this is me every month. Uh-huh. Yeah, looking at your bills. We're like, why the fuck did we go to... Why did I go to grad school? What? <laughs> <laughs> How much time have you got? I mean, we've been hit with a thousand expenses since we were forced to free Cormadier, but I guess you're mostly interested in the big ticket items. Well, first and foremost, there's the Leopard. We still owe a lot of money on this ship, and losing her isn't an option. Then you've got the assorted fallout from our impromptu trip across the frontier. Jump ship passage, docking fees, miscellaneous travel expenses. All paid for on credit, as if we had a choice. Well, this is why I only believe in cash and gold. This is it. This is in the future, in the far-flung future of the Battletech industry, uh, universe. I just need to pay everything in, in cold, hard gold. Stacks of it. There's more that I could get into. The loan we took out to set up Markham's family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but that'd be gilding the lily at this point. The fact is, we're in a lot of trouble with a, with a lot of lenders. But hey, we're mercenaries. We live for trouble. Who exactly? I want names. I want addresses. I want phone numbers. I'm going to go and talk to them. It's going to be fine. Let me just talk it out. How about I give you the top three? First, you've got Blue Horizon. Oh my god, that's Chase. First, you've got Blue Horizon. <laughs> that's the big commercial bank on Lyreton. They're the ones that own the lease on the ship. Then there's Indri Consortium. They've got people everywhere, but they're based somewhere in Merrick space. We borrowed from one of their associates to make the jump away from Cormadir on the last day of the coup. Final... <laughs> 
How did we do it? How did we? How did you get Darius, in the with lockdown one day? Darius, those people are on the corner. I've been. I. Mm, mm, they're no good. That's some payday loan shit. Finally, you've got lockdown lending. Their frontier outfit from Hoster, and they're about as crooked as they come. Now, I wouldn't normally do business with an outfit like the double, double L, but we didn't have a choice. They made a deal with Blue Horizon to buy half of our de- Oh, I know that game. Uh-huh. I know that game all too well. Uh-huh. So that's the big three. Commercial Bank, a shadowy financial consortium, and a bunch of leg breakers in cheap, sh- cheap suits. And each of them is dangerous in its own way. I just want to point out also Haster is like some Lovecraftian shit. They're like literally a payday loan company, like slash a debt buying company from the, the fucking like great old ones home. So that's good. That's enough money talk. Let me talk to you about something else. How do I? Hey, I guess this is all tutorial stuff, right? This is all stuff yeah. we probably know. So we probably don't need to get into like this stuff. Um, but I do want to know about Darius. Uh, so, uh, I just like, like to catch up. Like we, we, I know we've been on this boat for three years together, but like, you know, we didn't, we never, we don't ever really talk anymore, Darius. Yeah, sure. I've got time to talk. Back before all this, you were with the Arana Royal Guard. Tell me about it. It was more than just a deployment. It was a full campaign. High Lord Tamati gave us the job back in 19. We were supposed to be assisting the Royal Guard to round up and eliminate a pirate clan on Fjaldir. Commander Markham thought it'd be easy money. Turned out to be anything but. Um, I really like the fact that back in 19 is a thing we'll all be saying within our lifetimes. Yep. We lost a dozen mech warriors in the first three months of the Fjaldir campaign. Had to hose them out of the cockpits. Would have been more if it wasn't for Sir Raju. He saved our people's asses on more than one occasion, went out of his way to do it. And the thing is, he didn't have to. We weren't under his protection. We were the hired help. Tell me a bit about... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I forgot that A lot this of people in Mastiff's thing. position would have used us as cannon fodder, but that wasn't his way. He treated, as a, treated us as if we were his own. He was a good man, Kendricks. As good as they come. Tell me about you, Darius. Tell me about yourself. Where are you from? I grew up on Nassau Heights. It's one of the hab stations or- orbiting our two, our true. Thirty decks of economic stratification with the corporate suits on the upper decks and everyone else crammed into the lower ones. My old man was a dockhand. We lived on deck 28, two levels up from the bottom, with the other station maintenance personnel. Twelve hours a day, six days a week, my dad would load and unload cargo shuttles. Vacuum sealed, quillar, and nutrient paste for people like us, and luxury goods for the suits upstairs. The old man must have unloaded a thousand cases of Castleton eel roe. Plump, succulent eggs the size of melon balls. Never got to taste any, though. Any one of those tins would have cost him half a year's wages. It's a lot. I need to know what quill are. A uh, bioengineered crop that serves as a staple food stuff for the inner sphere. Quillar looks like an ordinary grain, but grows to twice the size of Terran corn and can be textured and flavored to mimic a wide variety of fruits, grains, and vegetables. And then Casildin. An aquatic world famed for its bountiful, deadly oceans. Right, I forgot. Casilda's human population is clustered on volcanic island chains along the equator, while the oceans are ruled by a vast array of native predatory life forms. Castleton seafood is sold as a delicacy throughout the rimward periphery. We never get to have any, though. Shout out to Zolgrim. Thank you for subscribing. Um. Anyway, Kendricks, I don't want to saddle you with my life story. Suffice to say that I got an eyeful of what I didn't want to be on Nassau Heights, and I did what I had to do to change my circumstances. And by the age of 16, I struck out on my own. I left that station with a handful of skills, an enormous web of contacts, and a rucksack full of that expensive caviar. And once <laughs> I made it off Nassau Heights, I never, ever looked back. Do you think he flipped it? Or do you think he had any of it? Do you think he had a taste? I think he flipped it. I think he flipped it, too. All right. I feel like we should do a check-in with a character per mission, maybe, you know? Yeah. I'm going to bring up the volume just a little bit. I'm a little quiet now, now that we're out of combat. Uh, oh, also, here's the thing. I oh, did not want to do either of those things. Hold up. Uh, I wanted to turn something on that I just heard about recently. Show UI during attacks is a new thing um, that I have not done previously. I'm also going to zoom to new contacts. That's a, a thing I've also not used. Um, all right, so we, we checked in with Darius. We'll check in with the rest of our crew, Yang and uh, Sumire, uh, in the future. Um, we did customize our 
our mechs, we picked, we picked, uh, um, we, we customized them in terms of paint jobs. We did not, like, dig in and start customizing. I don't think we're there quite yet, right? Our mechs are clean. Remember, we got out of that first mission just, like, perfect. Yeah. All right, so let's let's start a new a new a new mission. What do you think? Just a peek in the store real quick. I don't think there's anything for us at this point, but like, I'm not trying to buy Locust Panther or spider parts. No, but any good weapons, anything with little anything pluses. Plus mark. No, yeah. this is the first. I think this is the first station, right? So, yeah. all right, so let's look at the contracts. Let's see what we can do. Um, all right, so we could take this Merrick job, this Free Worlds League uh, uh, mission that would uh, take us to Detroit. We travel to Detroit, where uh, guerrillas on Detroit are surprisingly well-armed and well-supplied, and Merrick forces are taking unacceptable losses in recent engagements. We've tracked the weapons back to a hidden supply base operated by the locals. That base needs to be destroyed. Hmm. Um, it's, fixed we- it's fixed defenses, um, it's like turrets and stuff. So a couple things. Mm-hmm. First... They're basically calling us in to be cannon fodder for campaign that's already racking up a lot of uh, uh-huh. a lot of losses, yep. which doesn't sound great. Yep. Uh, and the other thing is, this is a hundred percent like an imperial grunts type oh, mission. Oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. So I'm not sure. I feel like traveling like a week and a half for that yeah. when we've got a better contract like right here, here on the planet. Middle Mars. management. This comes in from the Magistry of Cannabis. Says uh, our intelligence operatives believe that a pirate leader is present and vulnerable on the surface of uh, Belar. Mm, Belar. Mm, Belar mm, oh, I had this last Bolero. time. Bolero Fon. Yeah, Bolero Fon. There we go. On the surface of Bolero Fon. Eliminating them will leave the org- their organization in shambles and clear the field for Kana- for Canopian operations. The target will be relatively unguarded, and we'd like to strike. We'd like you to strike during this window of opportunity. Yeah, you know that seems. And also, like, sounds like we'll be hitting a middle manager. Sign me the fuck <laughs> up. Uh, also, there's a chance they'll have like a heavy, and we can try to like fish for for a headshot or like uh, try to try to bring in some some parts. You know. Uh, yeah. All right, so given that, given that we're in a decent place, I wouldn't. Oh, uh, 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 we can't get two parts. All right, fuck it. I was going to try to get two prime, two uh, priority salvage, but we can't. So I'm pretty fine taking the cut as is. Yeah, ninety nine and and one forty uh, and one four. Um, yeah, it should be an easy payday. Just we need to manage our heat. Yeah, at least it's Badlands, right? Which is it disperses a little bit less, right? Significantly, like yeah. I like I like laser heavy mechs really struggle okay. on Badlands maps, at least good, for me. Good to think about that. Uh, thankfully, I think we're pretty. Yeah, we're pretty heat efficient. The the one thing is this PPC will have to be very judicious in when. Yeah. We want to fire the dang thing. Um, oh, I should just double check that we're leveled up. One second. Ready for orders. XP spent, XP spent. What can I do for you? Uh, glitch has a little bit, but I think we we're saving for tactics probably. For sensor lock or or hmm. We didn't really talk this through, did we? Yeah. We I know we wanted to go I kind of want to go melee with Behemoth, right? Like I kind of want to go juggernaut piloting. Because piloting yeah. adds like your your um but I'm curious what you think for these other folks. Yeah, so, okay, so Behemoth's going to be, like, just waiting in there and getting in people's faces. Um, yeah. Decker, with that sensor thing, he's going to be in a scout skirmisher position a lot of time, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I don't know, I'm torn between, like... Oh, and then there's the fact he'll be in light max a lot of times. So yeah, at least until we get more him, mediums, too. you know... Yeah, I and mean, we could we could push him tactics all the way up so that he could be a medium who goes early. That's true. We need to do That's master true. tactician. That way, it's like that, you know. Um, I mean, he doesn't have enough points for anything right now, anyway. Commander. Glitch is my big question. Like, I'm I'm happy Glitch has multi target. Um, so I'm curious who, or I guess wait a second, because wasn't the other thing were we gonna go melee? So maybe Behemoth doesn't go melee. Maybe Behemoth goes. Well. I mean, are we going to go full melee? Like, again, like, well, we actually, we don't super need guts because we're immortal. And, right, true. Uh, and these abilities actually aren't super melee-ish. Uh, this one that is. One. That one's really good. And, and I mean, it's, it's, it's having that extra guarded so that when you're in there, you're just like, I'm standing still and just hitting you. 
but I'm yeah. not going to take more damage because I, I have this kind of guarded state. Um, the alternative, again, for tire fire for me is just like multi-target is super good. Um, multi-target, and you need a couple people with it. Yeah, too. so maybe we'll, we'll do piloting gunnery. Um, yeah. And we could do we could do ace pilot ace pilot and multi-target we don't need to go all the way to nice. breaching yeah, shot cool. right that'd be very um, cool. yeah that, okay so that that helps that and then with glitch um we'll do tactics on glitch so that we can do yeah like indirect fire stuff you know yep um so all right doing, like sniper for her yeah i think so yeah. yeah so maybe she does go maybe she goes breaching shot and then tactics yeah. that way it's like it's like PPCs and then also like LRMs and stuff, um, long range stuff. And then yeah. Medusa has some XP built up somehow, and uh, we got to figure out what Muhammad's doing here. I guess what is our what is our blank spot here? What is our empty what is our empty spot here, if anything? Uh, so if kind of a brawler. Down, is there someone that's just like I guess that's what we're going is kind of this brawler space. Yeah, Behemoth's going Behemoth Juggernaut. Also going, yeah, I guess we'll have everything once, right? Because we have five people, yeah. we'll have everything once into one thing twice. Uh, there's a jackhammer outside my window. Apologies if that's coming through. That's just noise from the mech bay. Right, exactly. It's that's just young is hard at work. <laughs> um. I, I, we're not going to bring on this mission. We'll wrap back around when it's time, and we'll see where our where our empty where where our space is. You know. Yeah. All right. Let's hop into middle management. Negotiate. Accept. Um. All right. God. All right. We're not going to lose you, buddy. We're not going to lose Decker. Did you fucking see that amazing all the various Decker stuff that's popped up lately? Yeah. He's becoming a meme within the community. Yeah, he's becoming a meme in the community. Uh, uh, Kiva, Kiva, who is one of the uh, the she's the the main gameplay designer, um, like the systems designer, um, put out a challenge to to beat the campaign without losing Decker, and sent her a screenshot of your action your after action report uh, with him alive. So go go look that up if you've managed to pull that off. Um, yeah, I guess I could have considered the spider instead of the locust in retrospect. Yeah, I, I was, you know, though, again, the locust will just protect our you precious press boy. our precious boy. Yeah, exactly. Let's get this done. Uh, all right. Let's let's jump in. Yeah. Ooh. Misty out. Yeah, okay. That was just a Yeah, it's a weird loading and thing. I mean, it's still kind of Okay, so up high. Very up high. Hmm, okay. That's, uh... All right. Keep your eyes open is that a winding mountain road? It seems like the, it. Uh... Let's bring this up just a little bit more. All right. Yeah. Hoy. Uh, do we all have jump jets? No, the Locust doesn't. Yeah. But so the Locust is fast. About him. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's a good-looking game. It's a good-looking game right here, Rob. Oh, that's a, it's a good that's sun. A it's a good... fucking hill. It's a big hill. We gotta go up it. Oh, and there's support forces between them and us. Man, I'm a little worried that... Uh, oh my god, that's we're... so far. Alright, so... Waiting for orders. We're just gonna lead with Shadow, with our Shadow Hawk here, with, with Tire Fire. Careful on these badlands, you don't want a uh, head-on <sighs> collision. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We should probably uh, scout pretty carefully and make sure we don't get uh, caught in any crossfire. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, we got company. Um, you don't give a damn. This is the worst drop. <laughs> I can't help it. I know. All right, brace. Let's see what's what next turn. All right, so that's a that's a tiny mech. Yeah. Okay. Hop into our fucking line of sight. Don't make me... Okay, Decker. Standing by. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> this feels like well. PUBG to me, suddenly. In that, like, yeah. I'm all about sight lines. I want to make sure I don't, like, pop... I don't want to, like, make myself visible right. to people over here yet. 
or like or like XCOM, and that I don't want to pop a pod, even though this game doesn't do pods. Um, so here's, you know, something we could do. No, but damn it, he's got the sensor locked. He up. has the sensor locked. That's I'm the actually thing. thinking he cuts out to the left really far, like here. Uh, yeah. Like he his left, you. yeah, keeps that. Uh, yeah, I want to turn him around because I don't Except want him that, to get yeah blasted in the back. There we go. How about there? Yeah, yeah. Four pips, and then we'll sensor lock that thing, and hope we don't ping any other ones. I mean, who cares if we ping them? They're there. They're in the world. Uh, but we will sensor lock you. Got a lock. What do we got? Alright. Fuck. Okay, it's just a spider. Is it gonna open up? No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, Rob. All right, what, are, what are our options here? We have Tire Fire and the Shadow Hawk with the ACM 5. Got that thing on me. Um, who can who do. Ooh, that's bad. Target right now? Uh, glitch. Okay. Glitch does, She's but. In the is, vindicator? She is in the Vindicator. But that multi-target isn't going to do her shit unless she can... She can hop up here she and... She can jump. She can jump up here and throw that PPC. But that PPC is not doing numbers because of the... The low percentage. The, because you of the would. evasive... The, well, like, we could yeah. start burning those evasive pips away, but, like... What I would love is to get a direct shot on this one, but I don't think that there, one of those exists. I'm not seeing the straight lines. Yeah. You know? I think... I still think... I'm looking for it, but... Uh, I'm still kind of here for multi shot. Yeah, just to uh, just to start burning it. Those evasive yeah, pips off. Yeah, everyone else is going up the hill. Yeah. To uh, you know, put a hurt on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everybody else will be able to get up there so at least. So yeah, let's multi shot. Yeah, and more mechs are going to keep coming over um, that ridge. Yeah, totally. All right, so we got to hop to do it. Is this a direct light? Yeah, direct, direct line. Yes, it is. All right. Yeah. Um, someone said that the, the, the UI is not super good at communicating visibility. It isn't, uh, I can start pointing out how that stuff works if that makes people, if that'll help for, for people who are playing at home, because I've gotten pretty decent at it. Alright, so, LRM's on the Locust and the PPC on the Spider. Uh, we're gonna build up some heat here, so we gotta be careful next turn. No problem. I've got enough gun for everyone. That's a miss. And this is... Oh, that's good. Fucking blew that armor right through the leg. Or the right through the leg's armor. Oh, boy. There's more. It's fine. As long as it's not like a big SRM boat or something. Yeah. Which is my big fear. All right, so let's see if we can put some more hurt on. All right, so this icon, that little broken line, you can also see the red, the dark red goes to like this kind of thinner red, um, is that there is uh, obstruction there, which is reducing our to hit. It's still enough to, you can still close enough to shoot, but it is not a clean shot. Whereas here is is actually a clean shot. You can see that that line isn't broken. Um, so Rob, here's a question. Yeah. Do we want to go put direct fire on the spider or do we want to keep LRMing, lerming this locust? Um, that has a bad leg. Yeah, I think we keep lerming it. Okay, that's 50%. Is there... What's the... That's not within... Oh, here's another little hot tip is... You see these little icons around the the mechs? If it's yellow... If, if they show up, that means that you're in range or that you can target with it. So if they show up at all, and then if it's gold, it means that it's, like, within the, the correct range. And if it's gray, it means, like, it's you can shoot it, but it's not, it's not in its ideal... Like, its optimal range. Um... So we do that. We don't do the AC five and the LRM on the on the spider here. Uh, They're not great chances. We could precision it up. You know, hmm. I guess how far can that? Uh, what's the what's the remaining mech we've got? Good question. It's the behemoth who can and get who can yeah, in the blackjack who okay, can yeah. also get up there and do those AC twos. Okay, then actually maybe do we, we can start with spider. do we start with that and see what happens? Yeah, and then from there we come around and do the uh, figure out what tire fire does and the shadow hawk. Okay, let's do that. Lifting off. 
Yeah, Lurm Carriers suck. Like, I, I... All of the carriers can just fuck up your whole fucking day. Um, just take the shots, or do you think precision it? I think just take the shots and, and roll take with it, it from yeah. there. That's a miss. That's a hit. Oh, a headshot! Oh, nice. God damn. All right. Nice work. I'm here for it. Um, all right, then, yeah. I think we jump in and we just dump on this thing. Yeah. Uh, and, and... We could fish for another headshot, but that feels like a... No. With only with only four missiles or five missiles, that doesn't feel like a, a high chance. So, let's just take the AC-5 shot. It's a miss. Alright, put, put a little tiny bit of hurt on that thing. Alright, another vehicle. That's alright, Blackjack can take hits like this all day. In fact, didn't take one. Nice work. All right, deck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, trying to mm. see. If, yeah. This is this sucks. I could reserve. No, because then they'll get to go twice. Ugh. I can't get within range of the MGs though. So yeah, and that's the thing that really does the. Um, Do we just move embrace? Yeah, I think you might. I think we I think we might need to stash Decker aside for a second. Yeah. Break line of sight with him maybe and then brace here. That Make way sure he's some... got four evasion tokens on him. Yeah, you're right. Nobody's gonna get behind him there unless they come down the Here we go. We got it, we got yeah. it. On it. Uh I could also I could brace or I could sensor lock something that's already moved and that I'll get to move first oh, on. Yeah. Right? So sensor lock something. Uh, but I don't know what that'll I guess it'll be one of these vehicles. Cause this is a this was um this yeah, is a four, sure. this is a four. Um so I could do a vehicle or I could brace. Which would give him defense. I would say brace. Let's maybe reserve him next turn so we can get the sensor lock on yeah, uh, somebody. Yeah, good call. Also braced. Interesting. They know what they know what it is. That spider came down. Did it chase down Decker? Did not. Yeah? That's this is what you want to do? Nice. Alright. We can have this fight. Shit. Alright, well, who does our best melee? 85? I guess we do. I just go kick this thing in. What do you think? I hit center, that's dead. Yep. Let's go here though. That way it's. Yeah. A good paint job. Tire fire show him what's good. Bam. Ah, just caught the arm. Oof. That's okay. That's okay. Pilot injured and the, the armor armor is wide open also. Alright, here comes that vehicle. Also they're teetering, so you can probably just run over there and put them on the ground. Yeah, totally. Glitch might already be in heat trouble. <sighs> So yeah, but can do just can could do this and then do lasers, lasers. Yeah, I mean actually could do can almost okay not from there, but from Good to go. here can hit all three. Yeah, they almost tempted baby by letting just, Behemoth go and just put that spider down. Yeah, just punch or actually Behemoth, you, Behemoth can't get to it until I move. Yeah. But she can use lasers. What's up, boss? But then she can't move. And she won't get she'll lose all those evasive pips. I guess she could run this mm. way. Waiting for orders. Or we could just pull up and put the Put the I mean, PPC. What if she jumps and shoots? I mean it's a heat problem, but it is a heat problem. That's the thing. She stays very evasive and probably Oh, uh, she just can't down. get the Oh, you're saying you blackjack. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that could work. I just feel like it's a lot of damage I'd rather be putting on this galleon. Yeah, it puts some. All right, what about, what about this? What about this? Oh, I fucking just out of range. Yeah. I mean, that thing's going to go down no matter what we do this turn. I hope, right? Like, the goal here should be, between us, we should be able to put enough damage on this spider to kill it. Right, but there's only two mechs left to do, and I think the Behemoth guarantees you that and frees up Vindicator to 
take a flyer with a PPC or something. Yeah. All right. I can, I can live with that. Let's get let's get four pips then. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people are asking about damage stuff here in the chat. Uh, I'm trying to find the actual original question. Can't for the life of me understand damage calculations, what determines if it dies or not. So, damage is this. Like, it does the damage it says it does. Medium laser, like, so this medium laser will do 25 damage if it hits wherever it hits. It'll do that damage first to the armor. So, like, like if it hits this arm, for instance, that 25 from that medium laser will burn through that armor and then do an, an, another 19 damage on the structure. Structure breaks when it breaks. So, I need to do 17 damage to the center torso uh, to kill this thing. Is That's, like, really all it comes down to. I'm going to turn off some of... I'm going to turn off... This basically functions like Battletech, where, like, if components are missing but you still register a hit it gets reassigned to the next exposed piece of armor correct? exactly i believe that's true especially i think it's like from outwards in do you know what i mean yeah, so like right. if i shot here and this blows up it'll then go into the torso and then it would go into the center torso or go into like left torso and then into center torso yeah because not like mechs are getting harder to hit as they take damage so uh, Ryan WH says, I'm basically done and still don't know the RNG they used to determine pilot damage. There's no RNG. If the head gets hit, pilot takes damage. If there's a knockdown, pilot takes damage. If there is a uh, an explosion in the left or right torso, if the, if the left or right torso blows up, or if there's a, a, a an SRM ammo explosion, pilot takes damage. Um, so you want to chase those things, because that's, that, that's the way that you can kill a pilot without destroying the mech. In any case, let's destroy this mech now. There it is. We didn't kill them, just merely incapacitated. Oh, that's They're all. Fine. They're fine. They're fine. Um, what can I do for you? Yeah, um, C C Punk Lo-Fi says, can someone explain if lasers are better at damaging armor or internals? None of the weapons really work like that, in terms of, like, do does something cut through armor more or less? Um, instead, there are things that are good at damaging internals, but not because they get, die. like, double damage to internals it's because they there are a lot um with every hit on an internal there's a chance a system inside will will be damaged there'll be a critical on a system if that system is like a big pile of missiles that that those that ammo might blow up right uh and so weapons that hit a lot like machine guns or um missiles because missiles are all they are all individual hits versus um, lasers that are like one big hit those are better for damaging structure because there's a chance that the, each time that you roll there's a chance that you'll get a crit with them basically and again a crit is just about damaging something not about um, oh, that's, a, that's a terrible chance I'm not going to waste those missiles there I'm just going to shoot this, this galleon and see if I can drop it what do you think yeah Tell me what to shoot. there it is I there knew the go. PPC was going to do it but Default Prophet says, if I have a breaching shot, shall I basically always try and only fire one big gun like a PPC or an AC-20? Breaching shot gets rid of cover or guarded. It doesn't necessarily... If someone isn't in cover or someone doesn't have the guarded thing, then it doesn't matter that you have breaching shot. It isn't breaching armor, really. What it's doing is getting rid of cover or guarded. Um, now, there are people... There are character, the character trait that lets you just... If you stand still, you have guarded. Obviously, those NPCs will have that, and it's worth shooting through it. Like, if I had it right now... It would break this this braced locust, right? Um, I think you're right. We should reserve Decker here and and then sensor yeah. lock it next turn. Um, the the um, huh. yeah, that's the right call. That's the right call for that locust. The uh, but what you can do as a as a reminder, multi shot, multi target, and breaching work together. It isn't that you can only fire one weapon per turn. It's that you can only fire one weapon per target with breaching shot. So you actually do want to do a breaching shot to someone who... Oh, man. It only has one pip. This thing fucked yeah. up, Rob. Uh, that was, yeah, that was a terrible move. That was a terrible move. Do I, lead with, do I lead with Decker here and then sweep in? Or do I save Decker? <laughs> to, you know what? Let's well. save Decker just in case we want to center lock this back one. Yeah. Um, let's see what, what all we have here. Move glitch up, and then... That's a lot of PPCs in a row. Move... Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, is it just uh, tire fire get up there and maybe get yeah, line of sight man. on the other thing? Not from here, no. What if they jump? This is jumping. No, uh, neither. Okay. That's why I'm thinking we can if we can kill this thing in one volley, then we can. Uh, if I back up. Do I have it in both? No. Okay. Um, if I can kill it in one volley, then then the rest of our turn can be spent sensor locking this back thing and hurling LRMs at it. So how about this? What if I move up with Behemoth and then precision shot it in the chest? Yeah. So, precision strike you in the chest. Give me them. Just let's just drop this thing. I'll have time to breathe afterwards. There it is. Come on. There it is. Nice work. Behemoth. One left target. Johnny Honest says, It's crazy to hear these tactics boys sound so authoritative here compared to their XCOM runs. <laughs> what can we say? Like, we were. <laughs> Rob was not kidding when on the podcast last week you said you've been training for this your whole life. What's up, boss? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, this really is the thing. Um. Yeah, to a degree, I've been thinking about these problems for, like, 20 years. Right, right. And and as you talked about, like, from the books in the series to the ba to the Battle like board game, to playing Mech Warrior, to playing, for me, just, like, being in the genre in general has been, like, oh, yeah, mechs, I get it. Like, I get what the difference is between this and something like XCOM very intuitively. Um so it's 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 fun. It's a fun thing to be here now. Uh, all right, let's just drop these LRMs on this thing and pray that they all hit that front. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, Cannabile Style says, "I hope they use Medusa soon. I really like him." Well, let's let's cycle Medusa in for the next run, one way or the other. All right, did all right damage. All right, Glitch, can you wrap this thing up for us? I mean, not wrap it up, but take care of this guy, at least. This might be the last supporting force. Coordinates received. Got it. Leaving this on up top is so good. You see them flashing when they hit? The, uh, the UI there, Rob? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's really useful. Oh, boy. I'm just going to run up and shoot this thing to death, Rob. Yep. Or is this a ploy? I know. This might be a ploy. All right. Make Come us proud, Decker. I believe, I believe in you so much. Straight ahead. It has 9 HP on the front. It has 9 HP. You Each so of those machine, machine guns. guns. Either of those machine guns could get a kill. Uh, if, if, you hit the, if you hit the side, same thing. You'd get a kill. Let's just just knock it out for us, bud. Yay! Decker, nice job. It's first kill. You Vehicle did it. Trashed. <laughs> vehicle trashed. You trashed that vehicle. Uh, All right, we are out of. Uh, are we? Wait, did we just wrap around? What happened there? Well, that was we like, no, no, we're not. Where's I think. Last? Oh, it must have moved within. Ter yeah. Okay, that's uh, what happened. Yep, okay. All right. So let's uh, same as last time. Let's just kind of keep Decker safe, but like. Yeah. Get those four pips. Spin them and then sensor lock. Affirmative. Yeah. yeah. It is wild coming back to these early missions now, Rob. You were not kidding. <laughs> I feel weirdly okay at this game comparatively. All right, what do they got? What is that? Oh, a vindicator. Okay. okay. All right. I mean, I'll take a I'll take a second vindicator. You know. I mean, it's good to have redundancy. It is. The thing that drives me crazy about the vindicator is um, that PPC gets knocked off in a fair number of battles. Yeah. And that is such an expensive repair job. It's like, so every expensive. Time, it's like, oh, we have to replace the PPC? Well, yeah. that's contract with the watch. Yeah, totally. 
I uh, Good to go. I bought like Glitch a double plus PPC that had like accuracy and bonus damage on it. Right. And she had it for a mission and a half. Oh, uh, that sucks. And then sucks. suddenly a heavy came along and uh, just punched it off. Oh my god. All right, let's put some LRMs on, on deck. 35% is just such a bad percent, but... Yeah, I wish you could store broken mechs so badly. That is maybe the one thing I wish I could do, is like, hey, just put all this in the fucking cupboard for now. Oh, caught a head hit! So, that was the first... Uh, so, I hit the head there, which... Didn't do any- oh, did I catch it? Didn't do any damage somehow? So maybe I'm just wrong about how- how... Things work. Why didn't that do any damage, No, Rob? it did, it did. Oh, did it? it? Oh, you're 45. right, you're right, you're right, you're so right. There it is, okay. one missile hit the head. One missile hit the head. The got shaken up. Right, it did two damage because it's guarded. Uh, which means it was only gonna do half damage. Those things do four damage each. Um, but, like, it, whatever, it got shook up, right? So if I can hit the head two more times here, on luck, you know? There, yeah. that's that's enough to to kill the pilot or incapacitate the pilot outright and just give us that the mech will show up as as uh, as salvage like the whole mech will show up as salvage which we won't get in this case because uh -huh. we only have one priority salvage but yeah I keep throwing shots out though Decker um, I'm in reserve let it move and yeah. then we and then we move. So again, reserving will move Decker from the fourth slot here into the f into the third uh, uh, ranking, the third initiative rank, basically. Oh, right pop out of there, you piece of Don't shit! Be like this. Uh, we can push in with somebody bigger, or we could move in with Decker and and oh, sensor lock. Let's move in and sensor lock him again. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> mm, that's fine. Copy that. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, let's sensor lock you. I don't want to get rid of that one pip, but it's better than nothing here. Sensors locked on. Uh, so that gets rid of the evasion and lets us kind of move in and can we get to a real shot? What can I, do I bet we can't. Fuck all. Oh, okay, we can. What's that look like? Yep. Alright, so I think it's that and it's persi per uh Precise shot or whatever, precision shot, precision strike. Yeah. No heat. It's time for that PPC to come into play. All right, precision strike. Click on. As much as I would love to to just chase that headshot again, that that two percent is not enough percent. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And not enough missiles. If we had way more missiles, if I was firing twenty missiles and not five then I would go for it, but that's just not enough, you know? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> These are gonna hit no matter what, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what's the damage? Might as well. If I don't core the thing, I don't core the thing, it's okay. Uh, damn. I guess tire fire just does not have, right, two tactics. Bad, not good, you know? Um, but... <laughs> People are debating whether that Decker is straight edge. <laughs> Decker is definitely straight edge, a hundred percent. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I think Decker is straight edge. Mm. Or, okay, maybe maybe Decker went through a straight edge period. Is that is that where you're at? You're thinking, like, yeah, Decker used like, to be straight edge? Look, I think Decker's tried on a lot of different, like, things uh -huh. that he was super into. Uh, but I just don't see him sustaining being straight edge. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see him being that committed. Mm -hmm. that. Standing by. Oh, we precision striked, which means that... Is that was that what happened? Oh, was it... Did it reserve? What's happening here? Why did it get knocked back a turn? Commander. Was that from precision strike? Does that do that? Yes, precision strike knocked it back a turn. Um... 
People are talking about uh, the morale system getting better with experience, and I'm having the same reaction. Are like, you? I yeah. I'm using Vigilance a lot. Vigilance is really good. System. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, for so me, using... it's... Go ahead. No, but yeah, like, using reserved moves and Vigilance is proving to be pretty critical. Like, I think yeah. I wanted the morale system to feel a little more, again, like XCOM super abilities, but it really is much more yeah, just like... Greater manipulation of the right. core game mechanics, right. which I can appreciate. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's also uh, the thing that one of the things that I really like about it is heat management, or not heat management, but um, stability management stuff uh, has been. It's been really useful in in making sure that like my uh, I can be pretty aggressive when it comes to running and jumping and and doing all the sorts of being being like in the face of people, but still zeroing in and like and getting a, a pretty stable um mech frame when it comes down to it uh this is really good positioning on the part of this vindicator because it's kept this hill between us so i cannot get direct line of fire for the fucking life of me um that isn't compromised by this hill again you can see that broken the little eye icon that's like you're breaking line of sight here so imagine that vindicator is kind of doing the PUBG thing or doing the mech warrior thing of kind of ducking and moving and keeping its its head between the behind this big hillish cover, um, but I'm still gonna roll up and pop it with this AC5 and see what's what. <laughs> uh, 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 Cannibile style says uh, Decker has one specific obscure cocktail that he drinks and refuses to drink anything else. What what is it? What is the what is the the one drink for Decker? Lacroix and Chartreuse. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, like, legitimately, I think he is super into, like... I didn't mean to reserve there. That's okay. It's still our turn. I forgot that glitch still had... I am actually going to reserve. I'm going to reserve. I'm going to let... I'm going to let them go, and then we're going to we're gonna pop it when it gets to wherever it's getting. No, but I, I think he's super, like... He's he insists on always like having like no I'll, I I only drinks uh you know the sane Ives uh, or something like that right it's basically just a Manhattan with some bullshit like garnish right but, like, right all right here we go here we go here we go so turn off the LRMs because I'm, I'm running low on heat here ooh I've I've decided to leave them on instead. Yeah. You want to see some cool shit? Ready for orders. Decker is about to get to go twice in a row. Because we've reserved him down to the first slot. Oh, he can just not make it to the MGs. No. This may still work out, though. We'll see. At the very least, I can pull him out immediately if it, if it doesn't go the way I want it to. Copy that. Structure exposed, baby. And destroyed a jump jet. Nice going, deck. Some heavy damage. All right, it goes immediately here. Otherwise, I would. Otherwise, I would try to ruin its day. You know. We would. We don't. We do not want to get our boy killed. No, we don't. <sighs> Although it would be extremely. It would be extremely be like, decker. I can do this. I can do it. I just want to run up and just let me just blast. But even that's like a 60% chance. How is it so low? Decker, what is your fucking gunnery score? How is this only a 60% chance to hit? You're right there. Couldn't melee. No, he does 15 on melee. Plus these 50% to hit MGs. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't. It's not enough. Like, I literally, it would not be enough. Because even if these both hit 100% all the way through, all on the torso, and the melee hit hit, it would not be oh, enough. Yeah, someone's pointing out, mouse over those uh, modifiers below the, uh, in the UI. Uh, below the indicator. Uh, below in the, the... Wait, which one? Oh, oh yes. Box. So this one, uh, so, this so, is yes. Lens. This is mineral field, which means that it's harder to hit, uh, um, is it just a straight-up difficulty? Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. 
that's that's why it's so hard. That's a good defensive position on this Vindicator. So Mineral Field says, these mineral deposits interfere with targeting systems. Plus four difficulty to hit units within a mineral field. Plus two difficulty for attacks made by units within a mineral field. So that's why it's missing so much. That's but that's a very, good trade. Uh, very smart because a lot of mech warriors prefer to run uh, the magnetic uh, resonance detectors, mag scan. Uh -huh. uh, so of course a mineral field naturally uh, uh -huh. their target ability. That targeting makes sense. Ability. Uh, Badlands bio biome is is it, it's only sinking 85 percent of its heat, and then sensors impaired. Uh, difficulty to all of its units attacks uh, until plus one difficulty to all of its attacks until next turn. That comes from the PPC. PPCs uh, um, make it harder for for you to for you to um, uh, shoot. I'm trying to see if there's a three spot that I can move to and still get a quick shot off on, but doesn't look like it. Could get the two, but probably not worth it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bounce him. Let's keep him yeah. alive, you know. Yeah. He's done his part. He, he has. Structure. Yeah. Roger. Good hustle deck. Uh, that sensor lock isn't gonna mean shit, but do it anyway. <laughs> oh, didn't take a shot. I guess it just, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, buddy. It entrenched, so that's something. Um, I think I'm gonna walk up with Behemoth and let loose with his jack, with his blackjack. With his jack black. Yep. There's a chance it lives through this whole turn, honestly, because oh, yeah. I, I don't, we don't have the precision strike on it. We're not gonna knock it down here. Um, but it ain't looking good for the next for the next turn for the for the second thing. Uh, people are asking about various weapons, whether or not weapons that are in some other mech warrior and battletech things are in this. I don't want to get into. I don't want to say list what is and isn't in the game, but I will say that like more weapons are locked. range weapons that come in with the clans are not in this game. Uh, pulse lasers are not in this game. Gauss rifles are not in this game. Narc beacons are not in this game. I don't want to uh, talk about what is or isn't in this game, Rob. <laughs> Rob. It's just the wrong era. Rob, I don't want to talk about what is or isn't in this game. Good to go. Oh, that's right. There. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'll say this. A clan, ER, ER lasers showed up in the trailer, is what I will say. So. I have yet to see these these uh, rumored wonders. I am further in the main campaign. <laughs> uh, I am further in the main campaign and did send you a message the other day that was like Battletech's take on the turret sequence is really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was really curious about that one. Uh huh. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Although, yeah, I'm very keen. Knock this fucking thing over and then call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Commander. Can we really not get closer? Oh, come on. This is like the most survivable thing I think we fought yet, and not because it's like all because it's just in this fucking tar field. He's just being an asshole at this You're point. You're just like, being a be dick. Just eject. Just eject. Let's call it a day. You know. Time to die. All right, glitch. You missed with the PPC. Oh my god. All right, but we're tearing into it. Too close for those. Right there. There we go. That's the range you want right there. Roger. All right, behemoth. We have to watch your heat here, but try to put this thing. I really like the you know, for the uh, the paint jobs. Me too. This is the first time we've really seen them out and about, and they're they're looking good. There goes the arm. There goes the inner fall over torso. And die, you bastard. I know. Receiving you. Decker, do it. The strategy really does seem to be to like curl into a ball in uh -huh. the middle field and hope we go away. Decker has not come close to death yet, Kadokun. Decker's MVP. Decker's out here. Best life. Check this shit out. Decker. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you, Decker, so much. So much. <laughs> Look, gunnery practice bores him. Bores him. If we uh, just found a way to get him to engage with the training. To be excited, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
God, I wish this was any closer. I wish you just had a little bit more range, deck. You're truly killing me. I'm gonna reserve Decker. Let it move, and then see what I can do. Was it gonna come kill Decker? Is it gonna come kill Decker? And it didn't, okay. Whew. Oh man, I forgot about LBX auto cannons. Uh-huh. Standing by. Waiting for orders. Clan air is so good and silly. Alright, I'm gonna make the move, Rob. That's happening. Look at this. Do punch him? Do I punch? Do you think I punch with Decker? Or do you think I go in and get the medium laser also? Because the medium laser, mm -hmm. it's a... Yeah. You know what? The melee is a 95% hit to, uh, chance to hit, though. So I think it is melee. Decker. And Online. A bird tech. Yeah, me too. Putting my weight into it. He's just so determined. He puts <laughs> yes. his little head down and yeah. butts it. Okay. You tried, Decker. You really did. All right. Now everyone has to go save Decker. Uh-huh. Well, Decker gets to go again. Decker will go again before this thing. There it is. There it is. Tire Fire's like, I got it, Decker, don't worry. Right hook. Alright. Uh, that was a great mission again, Rob. I I don't know that we took any real damage. No, I mean, it's just uh, light repairs. Yeah. Mercenary Review Board loves us, you know? And we got the bonus. I love this business suit. I love this 80s power business suit. Love it. You're looking great, Magistry. Uh, yep, no damage. It's a very, oh, uh, oh. look. <laughs> look, everybody got kills. Every, even Decker got a kill. I did. <laughs> even <laughs> Eli knows what that means. <laughs> even Decker knows what that means. Uh, all right, did we grab this Vindicator part just to grab it? Yeah. For um, sure. Again, there's no pluses here. Yeah, it's just... Great. Uh, so, Vindicator part and some stuff. And some trash. Listen, I'll take the cash. The cash on that was alright. And we didn't have to go anywhere. We didn't have to take the leopard anywhere, you know? Oh, contact. The Rimward Frontier. Alright, everybody. Gather round. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. In the chat, Civil Twilight says, Coke, Peppy, E.R. Laser. <laughs> Very good. Deep cuts. All right. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message. But she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up, and she wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. I'm going to use this ancestry one. Why not? You know? <sighs> I guess the Castellican name still means something out in the magistry. Man, how much do you think the rest of the crew hates hearing about Castellica? All the time. Yeah. Uh, you're young, I'd too, like right? to believe that's true, boss. But I'm not sure I want to bet my life on it. You're certain that this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that all love to repossess this ship. <laughs> We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, Young. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us specifically. She reached out to us with a priority HPG message. And those things ain't cheap. Hyperpulse Generator. The Hyperpulse Generator, or HPG, is a device capable of sending terabytes of compressed information from one point to another at faster than light speeds. All modern HPG arrays are owned and operated by Comstar. Which is like a ch right. is like what if Comcast was a church. Can I give you a bit of adorable like Battletech lore history here? Always. Alright, so another time with the HPG, like sending terabytes of data. Uh-huh. But in some of the uh, old books, uh -huh. uh, there's this there's this big deal that happens to the Federated Sons, where one of their Merc companies, uh, the Great Death Legion, uh, recover a Lost Tech data archive Ooh. that has, and I shit you not, uh, like 200 kilobytes of data in it. That's not a lot and of data. And everyone's like, Hol like, that is more data than like, exists. That's <laughs> yeah. what a trove. Like, goodness. Like, it's great. The the amount of uh, 
it's very much like I mean it's a lot Doss of data era. if by data what you mean is just words you know yeah that's very yeah funny. I mean you can still put a lot in there yeah that's amazing um all right so she's rich um we'll meet with this new mystery client but that's all we'll do until we've heard her pitch that's fair commander we need to follow up on this, but that doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is just a meeting. What's the worst that could happen? Our new client vents us out of the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. Thanks for that delightful image, Young. <laughs> Look, Hendricks, I'll admit, this is sketchy as hell. But it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon. Client will be waiting. All right. Fair amount of combat experience, it's correct. Yep, and the state of our finances. Gotcha. We're doing great. Honestly, we're doing numbers right now. Um, let's peek at what that contract looks like. Travel to Bellerophon to meet our new con contact. Okay, that is not a full mission. That is just go meet them, right? Because yeah. there's no salvage, there's no... It's like, they're going to pay us for it, I guess, which is weird. Yeah. Um, I guess that's probably just a pay to get there. Basically, but what about the supply base that's on the way? This is this. Yeah, where is this? Let's see. Oh, it's still it's still Detroit. Oh, this is that this is that same mission, right? Yeah. Um. All right. Let me look. Let's We're not look at super well equipped. No, I would like to be a little better equipped before we do the next bit. Uh, let's take a look at the star map and see what's where. All right. So this is Detroit. I think this is oh, that's Alloway. And this is Bellerophon. No, wait. Where the fuck is Bellerophon at? Are we at Bellerophon? Oh, we're already at Bellerophon. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that explains that explains what's yeah. up with that. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I might as well just meet him. Yeah, I may as well just roll into it, you think? I was just looking yeah, to see what's if... what's the harm of talking? What's the harm? Exactly. All right, let's do it. Uh, actually, let's just make sure. I'm curious if anybody has anything to say about this thing yet. Yeah, okay. So let's talk, let's talk to uh, Sumeray before we... Uh, move forward. Um, should we start with the specific thing? Yeah, let's start with the specific thing. Uh, does the decision we made about an uncertified, uh, uncertified contract satisfy your concerns? My concerns won't be satisfied until our creditors have been paid and the loan sharks are off our backs. But this is a step in the right direction, and that makes me happy. I'm not blind to the risks that uncertified contracts entail, by the way. I mean, I know that what we're doing is dangerous. But it's the best chance we've got to dig ourselves out of this hole. Um, I think this is the tutorial one. Yeah, okay. I, I know how to do ship stuff. That I got. Um, I'm collecting stories about the crew. Tell me something about yourself. Well, I'm from a noble family like you. We're old money. Made our fortune out in Rosselhaig. Then, repa re then repatriated to the Torian Concordat. That's where I grew up. I'm not sure if this is the kind of stuff you were hoping to hear, but we can talk about whatever. I'm not shy. Do you want to do you want to read Russell Hag? Russell Hog? Sure. A minor interstellar state conquered 700 years ago by the Draconis Combine, new now officially known as the Russell Hag Military District. That's like a whole thing, right? The Russell Hag situation. A big thing. There's an entire like breakaway republic that forms there. There's a new culture and language. Uh, they speak. Swedenese. Is that Rasselhag. real? Are you serious? Yeah, for sure. Okay. We're in the... Because... Uh-huh, because Japan. Because Draconis Combine is Japan, Space Japan. And then Rasselhag is Space, space Scandinavia. Right. And so they, they've lived together for, mm -hmm. you know, a millennia, a millennium. And so now, uh, you know, it's just it's a pastiche two languages. They're one, they're one thing now. It's <sighs> awesome. Everyone will love it. Trivial Mind says, free Rasselhag. Where in the Concordat are you from? I grew up on New Vandenberg. It's a nice enough place, I suppose. Do you like birds? Yeah. Important, yeah. Sh well, yeah, why is there not a hell yeah answer here, you know? Uh, sure, I guess. Then you'd like New Vandenberg. It's practically one big Avery. Not true. 
aviary. Avery. <laughs> There's this man Big there. Avery. Named Big Avery. His name is Big Avery. It's a big college kid just comes hey, what's up? I think Big Avery has to be a local DJ, a local radio host. What's good in that? It's me, Big Avery, coming to you live this morning from, from Free Rasla Egg. Spinning the ones and spinning on the ones and twos. We got everything for you to listen to right now. That hot new joint off from off of Locust's new LP. Uh uh, kill deck or kill. It's 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 pretty good. All right. Uh, then you'd love New Vandenberg. It's basically one big aviary. Something like two thirds of the native fauna has feathers, flutters, flutters on the winds, and splatters its excrement across every available surface. Naturally, the original colonists adopted the the feathery little monsters into the culture, and those of us that came after were kind of stuck with it. Statues, fountains, murals, you name it. Just a giant, feathery pile of screeching alien birds. If the system had a motto, it would be Squawk. Sounds great. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds alright to me. I love birds. That's my character. Try living there. I give you about six months of having your lunch stolen by gulls and your head shat on by finches before you change your tune. From each according to their ability. <laughs> abilities. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of things that fly, what about this, uh, this? You can learn how to pilot. You can pilot stuff. The Torian Naval Institute on New Vandenberg. Well, among other places, it's a big campus. The low gravity training station ordering, uh, orbiting Lompoc was my second home for a time. T and I flight training isn't usually open to civilians, but my parents had good credit back then, and they could name drop Protector Calderon. That'll get you pretty far in the Concordat for a while, anyway. Rob, do you want to give me on Protector Thomas Calderon? Born 2984. Thomas Calderon succeeded his mother, Zerantha Calderon, as protector of the Taurian Concordat in 3017. House Calderon leaders are known for their pragmatism and sound judgment. Thomas is no exception. Sounds like a good connect. The other cadets in my class weren't especially happy sharing air with a civvy, but they couldn't say much. I was nobility, and they weren't. Everyone sort of kept me at arm's length, and so I had plenty of time to concentrate on my studies. I got my certification in both dropship and jumpship operation in four years. I even tried working on a commercial jumpship crew for a while, once upon a time. The people were fun, but it wasn't for me. The ratio of flying to violent jump sickness skewed hard in the wrong direction. Uh, what can you tell me about House Meyer? I forgot that she was nobility. <clears throat> You're looking at it. My parents are both gone. Blood cancer and heart disease, respectively. Both treatable, but... They were out of money at that point, so into the ground they went. Ditto my brother David, who ran off to serve in the Third Succession War and never came back. Uh, so, this thing I'll say here... Yes, go for it. Is just, it is, like, this is so clearly a Battletech universe that's been sort of differently imagined than in the past. Like, mm. there wasn't really this much nervousness about medical treatment and <laughs> money in most of the earlier like battle tech stuff from like the 80s and 90s like right. this is very much like a kids of that era now have grown up right and are considering what it means to live in that universe right this is a this is a uh, a millennial uh, reimagining of battle tech the bills are coming you know you, you don't have uh, good health care you, you don't have uh job security <laughs> Great. Uh, I, I can't think of anything worse here than be like, yeah, I'm sad too. So I'm just going to say I'm sorry. I don't know. I like uh, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> so mean. Uh, the galaxy was at war for nearly 200 years, Commander. People died. You don't need to apologize for it. And truthfully, I was never really all that close to any of them. David was 13 years older than me. Had a foot out the door before I turned three. And my parents, well, they raised me by proxy in the traditional noble fashion. There was no real bond there, even when I was young. None of this is to say that my folks are bad people. They weren't. They were just doing what they knew. Their upbringings had been outsourced, just like mine was. Also, I'm a latchkey kid. Like, <laughs> all, of, all of your nervousness. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about my family. They're gone. I'm here. The end. So, you got another question, or should we get back to our duties? So more about your family. Yeah, Rosal, tell, me. tell me more, actually. <laughs> so what's wrestling like? What's, yeah. It was a long time ago, but yeah. As my parents told it, we were, the, we were landowners on Pomme de Terre. It's an agricultural world, sort of the breadbasket of the, of the Jaconis Combine. 
And yes, I know that pomme de terre means potato. My ancestors came from the planet Potato. It took some time for me to accept that, but hey, here we are. Anyway, moving on. House Meyer's holdings were meager, but the value of that land was astronomical. For minor nobility, we were really very wealthy. And then the, the Third Succession Wars broke out, and the political rhetoric got ugly. House Meyer didn't want a single part of what was happening, so my ancestors emptied their accounts and ran. As a rule, House Carita uh, takes a really dim view of nobles who cut and run, where it's like traitor and defector start getting thrown around. In the Combine, you really don't want to be on the receiving end of allegations like that. I wouldn't be standing here today if House Calderon hadn't granted my ancestors asylum in the Concordat. In all likelihood, House Meyer would have been wiped out before I was even born. I'd like to talk about something else, if you don't mind. I gotta go. I gotta, you know what? You know, have a great this day. This has been kind of a bummer. This has been, whew, it's a toughie right there. Um, it's like she doesn't even know that you're an orphan, too. Totally. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like that. Totally. Um, just wanted to see if there is just a quick thing from Yang. Maybe we'll do the full Yang rundown next time. But We've interrupted Yang's busy schedule watching diners, dive-ins, dive-ins <laughs> and dives. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to see if maybe Yang, how, uh, how Yang feels about the whole leopard situation. Don't know. I mean, we're doing okay for the moment, but give it a few months, maybe a year. You know how it goes. Eventually, everything falls apart. You're a mechanic. Your job is to keep that from happening. Maybe our drive system will go give out. Maybe some debris will perforate the whole hull. Who knows? Not me. But on that day, <laughs> we're going to need to be able to cover our repair costs. And if we can't, well... That'll be that. God. Um, oh, that's awesome. Uh, Alebeard says, uh, at Waypoint, was catching up on the last episode and you brought up MechWarrior Living Legends. As a semi-active player, you guys should really hop in sometime. Just a note for Rob, you can also pilot tanks, elementals, and aerospace as well as mechs. That's true. It's really cool, Rob. Uh, we'll come back and do the full Yang breakdown, Yang breakdown after the next uh, mission, maybe. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, let's have this conversation uh, with, with our benefactor. Anna Marie Centrella. Okay. Uh, I'll take Anna. Mr. Oliveira, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I am Anna Marie Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander Castellica? Um... Not yet, but keep talking is pretty good. <laughs> Maybe we'll get there. Good answer. I think I'm going to like you, Commander Castellica. The job that I have for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. A fair deal, wouldn't you say? How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Lady Centrella's image is replaced on the screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Exilis, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you are going to bring her to me. Yeah? And how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. 
Relax, Mr. Vertinen. I have engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It will carry you to the pirate moon where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict and you will protect them until the work is done. This should be all well within your capabilities, Commander Castellica, unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. Gotta be this. You gotta gotta go with what you got. You know, you gotta go with yeah. with. I fought against legends, ladies and Trella. Pirates don't worry me. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there will be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mister Oliveira will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering, Commander Castellica. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Kendricks. We were looking for a lifeline, and I think this is as close as we're going to get. Okay, Lady Centrella. Okay, Lady Centrella. You've got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll forward your contract to Mr. Oliveira. You know, Commander Castellica, your exploits on Solaris 7 are remembered in the Magistry. Magistry. Mm -hmm. Ma I always forget how to say this word of this place I belong to. Magistry. It's a CY at the end, which kind of makes it... Did the music stop playing? That's strange. Magistrassy. I'm... The Magistrass... Mad... Mm -hmm. Is it Strassy? Oh, Magistrassy. There it is. Thank you. On the Magistrassy. I watched some of your fights myself. I saw your potential. Let's well, hope... double-edged. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw it before. Before now. Now that you're all washed, let's hope that you live up to it. All right, let's look at this contract. Ah, uh, there's a new contract. This is the same one. This is the right. same one. This is the supply. Come on, of that's it. Give us a, ma nope. a mission with Max. Damn it! I think until we actually like roll into the game proper, we're gonna be here. We're gonna be at this little. Like we I could. Be uh, here's a lot of good stuff before I went to this mission. Did you? So do you want to? We could just bounce around. That's the thing. Is like we have the breathing room to nah. just. We could just leave here and go to like, go to or, to or current crew in or whatever you know. And try to grab some extra shit because you're right. That, like, I would, ra I know what this mission is. I would also rather go in with four mediums. Yeah. Um, we could take this other travel contract and go knock out this Detroit mission and just kind of, like, bury our heads to the fact that it's shitty, you know? Though you're right, yeah. we probably won't get any mechs from it. No, Though, but we'll at least reshuffle the deck. Of yeah, exactly. Missions. Let's do that. And. We could do two eight just in case a mech shows up. They're yeah. gonna have something there, right? Yeah, but they're gonna have so little. I almost feel like you just do one one, take the money, just do take the money. The money. Yeah, all right. Um, you're, you're, wait, are you saying you're saying like here? You're saying here? Oh no no no! I, I think the middle 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 middle. Yes, okay, gotcha fine. gotcha gotcha. Okay, let's do it. All right. Yeah, I love this notion here. I love the. I like this game a lot. Like I said, I'm forty some hours in, and I just really do love this whole like. Ugh, I really want to go get more supplies. I'm going to go do more side missions. I, we mentioned on the podcast. Uh, for people who don't know, Rob did a a really great read of the podcast of the review, um, and uh, 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 and then we had a really long conversation about it. And one of the things I, I mentioned was how much I love the the feeling of just being an actual mercenary and looking for jobs and stuff and how I want that to be kind of, if they ever go back and make another Shadowrun game to really emphasize that kind of open-ended feel, um, because I really do like it. Um, <laughs> great. See, we needed to give this guy some work. We did. This guy needed to do some shit. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you, uh, where you find Medusa disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside him. He pauses, then explains... Uh, there's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm, I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As reasonable as that sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. <laughs> um, fuck the banks. You know? Just make them reversible. He's a technician. Yeah. 
You look over Medusa's work. This is a temporary change, yes? Medusa blinks and quickly nods. Yeah, Commander. You say the word and I can have this back the way it was in 90 minutes? 120 tops. Good as new. You nod. Good. Carry on. However, in the future, you will get sign-off before you start anything like this again. Are we clear? Yeah, Commander. Nice work. Well, you know what? For that, we're gonna you raise the morale by one. We're gonna uh, we're gonna bring you on to this next mission, Medusa. <laughs> Candlebile style says uh, that event was Decker for them, which is perfect. Yeah. Except with Decker, that event should end with, like, an explosive decompression. <laughs> Don't worry, there's just a bunch of free room back. And it, like, falls out into space. Oh, it's so good. This is, like, this stupid, massive bulkhead right yeah. here. I don't know uh -huh. what it's doing here, but if we just knock it out. Rob, what if we go up to one? I know I like we... Where you're I like where your head's at. Because we don't get this freedom in the future. Like, this is yeah. not that much money, but where I'm at yeah. in the main campaign, I can't fucking afford to be generous anymore. So I'm going to be generous now to the to the original crew. Like We got everybody alive. We got a little bit of spending money. I'll go down into the yellow. That's okay. We're about to make it back anyway. Yes, that's exactly it. Um, Micah they says, uh, yeah, the option to pick from different fixers and informants in an open Shadowrun setup would be nice. They sort of hint at that in Hong Kong for a stretch before they get back to the main story. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Um, let's not proceed quite yet. Let's take a peek in the store and the hiring hall really quick. All right. So if we ever wanted spiders or locusts, they got them here. They do this AC-20 uh, for, for like an, a, a quarter of our money. Uh, that's great, but we don't have Ooh, anything to put in it. We don't have anything to put this AC-20 on anyway. Um, uh, 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 Mydron? Mydron. It's a Mydron AC-20. Is that a thing? Is that like? Does that mean something to you? Uh, no, I only know the Kaliyama, but I uh, think that might be the standard one. Gotcha. Um, all right, let's uh, uh, I'm just look at the hiring hall and see if we've got any cool characters in here. A bunch of people who won't ride with us. Peacebreaker, good name. Peacebreaker looks like our fucking mom, which is cool. Uh, Prince... Commander. Rodeo. Orders? Ro <laughs> orders? Is that? Do I take orders? Is that what I do? Good to go. Shadow. Commander. And Stormcloud. Cool characters. Uh, no one, no one unique here. That's okay. Um, let's just peek at what the other contracts are here. Not that we're gonna break the one we already have, but just to see, you know. Ooh, having trouble All right. Comstar. I know. Yeah. See, you know, a little bit of a. Uh, a little bit of uh, uh, noise on the signal. Missions. Yeah, a bunch of little missions here. And I bet you some of these, it's an escort, that's a recovery. This is going to be a battle? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we could we could stay here for a bit. Um, but for now, let's let's level up Medusa. Let's make a decision with Medusa and bring him with. Um, what do you need? What do we need? So he'll probably be in a light mech, right? Oh, didn't we definitely... Um, <sighs> Unless we, we bank, we could, like, put Behemoth or Glitch on the on the bench for a turn? Well, okay, so, like, on this mission, a spider is probably coming with us, right? Like, you're benching Locust and putting the spider Yeah, I think that that's true. Yeah. I'm here. I think Decker is our designated light mech light. jockey for yeah. the moment, so yeah. he sticks in that. Mm -hmm. uh, Medusa, right now, Medusa can just be a generalist. Um, right, I could just... Don't even you're right. We could just like boom, boom, or or probably more like those two, yeah. right? Yeah. Because what do we get from this health? I guess that's the thing that would be nice. But no, yeah, we just generalize out and just walk it up for now. And it's just like, yeah, can put Medusa in yeah. the Vindicator or something, um, or not the Vindicator, the Blackjack. We'll put Vindicator in the Blackjack. And who knows? Maybe by the time he levels, uh, an opening will have appeared in one of our other roles. <laughs> That's not how I would say it, but you know, you, what can I? What can you do? Uh, give her the tactics here, or do I just bump up these two so that she doesn't die? Because uh, the that minimum range change is nice. Yeah, it does. I like that a lot, especially given what a lot of her shit is. Yeah, let's do that and just keep well, her. Mm, but I don't want to lose then her. We're locked into that ability. If we're going to those other abilities. Is there anything else we'd want for her? No, I think we're gonna. I think I want. I think I want 
I mean, this is the build I always end up with with for glitch. I is always it? end up gunnery tactics, so I'm, Me too. I'm cool with doing that. Cause Me like, too. I'm, I, I'm also cool with it. I'm also cool. Yeah. Except, yeah, I think I think what we do this time, I think we do breaching shot with her. Normally, I do in my main game. I went master tactician yeah. with her, which was great. Um, she just died for me finally, like forty hours in or whatever, thirty five hours in, uh, and I had the weirdest bug with her for the whole game. From a random event, she had the bad, not bad mood, but whatever that thing was, where she had like negative low spirits. Um, and it, she just, like, never could kick it because it was bugged. So she was just always in low spirits, but was easily my best character by far. So sad to see her go. Glad to have her back in this in this run. Um, but, yeah, I think it's it's this or it's this, I think. Because that health will keep her alive, you know? Um, yeah. I'm going to go with the health. I'm going to play conservatively here. No, I'm not. We just gotta play safe. We just gotta be smart. Ready for order. Um, Decker. I've already forgotten what we were gonna give Decker besides this. I mean, also health, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, though. I mean, Decker's kind of a let it ride kind of guy. Yeah, you're right. Although he like he's so bad at shoot like he's got nothing. He's to so shoot. bad with shooting. Let's let's give him the gunnery so that when he does pull the trigger, he has a better chance of hitting. Yeah. All right, and then Behemoth, you're gonna be on the bench this turn anyway, so that's fine. Do we have money? Do we have a rather XP? Um, yeah, let's start working that gunnery up. Though that indirect fire is so bad for us right now. This doesn't even make an improvement, yeah. does it? Gunnery. This turn, yeah, gunnery. Um, at which case, maybe for this one, do we want to maybe let's take a look. Let's see what let's see what we got right now. All right, so let's bench Behemoth for this one and bring in Medusa. Um, yeah. Here's my question: That is, since we have such bad tactics, do we want to tag back out of the Shadowhawk back into the Blackjack so that? Medusa, who has a better tactics, has that, has the LRMs, or do we want to keep it? Yeah, I feel like that's what we want to do. Oh, though that was the actual the reason we did this was because the melee damage on the Shadowhawk was better, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's stay. Let's stay. Well, we, what I really want to do is maybe pull these LRMs off the Shadowhawk after this, and refocus this to be more of a brawler and less of a ranged Let's get that spider in the lineup. Yes, good call. Boom. All right. Thank you to uh, BR Easy Games for subscribing two months in a row. Uh, the the uh, vehement hmm, hmm. words are hard today for me for some reason. The vehemently says, "Hey Austin, do you think there's a definitive mech game? The mercenary fantasy of this game seems so different from games like Front Mission or Armored Core. I don't think there's a definitive anything in the world of media ever. I think there's lots of. Uh, I think like any sort of core of a thing is eternally deferred. Like there is no one best." mech fantasy or mech game or nothing nothing is ever like ah this is the thing that encapsulates the entire thing because something like mech is such a broad category uh, it's a genre unto itself do you know like it's like saying like is there a definitive house like no like the houses can take many 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 shapes um so i think that's the same with with mech games right like the fantasy you get from into the breach is different than the fantasy you get here and they both execute they're both executed on extremely well uh what front mission does is so entirely different than what virtual on does both of those are are about mechs um in, in a meaningful way uh all right let's take care of uh these gorillas Okay. Intel was right. No nearby reinforcements, but there are gun emplacements. All right. All right, let's tear through this thing. Oh, those are high up again. God damn. My question is really, are we going to find, is there like a mech gener or a generator anywhere? No. Oh, wait, that might be a generator right there. Do you see it? Yeah. Is there a world in which we were able to, like, run Decker around and have him sensor lock that thing? And let us blow it up without getting too close. Coordinates 
Oh, I should be more careful because these geothermals here. Fuck. I was not paying close attention. Let's hit him hard. I'm gonna reserve. I don't want to move Decker alone. Phantom Brigade, Phantom Brigade does look really neat. Agreed. A little vehicle. Let's move up and shoot that thing. What do you think? Um, I mean, the thing is, that's the forward edge of whatever's out there. Like, what yeah. if he walks up and there's a bunch of shit? Yeah, just and, and everybody else is so far away. Yeah, agreed. Um, Standing by. Oh yeah, so we we could we could sensor lock it, right? We could move him back over here and have him sensor lock, and move him back yeah, to the group, yeah. or 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 have him flank out this way, and sensor lock. Yeah, maybe get them in the trees. Yeah. There we go. I copy. Let's see if that uncovers anything else. Uh, I've got something. This is a different base? What? What is this okay. doing over here? What the fuck? Huh. It's not on the map. It's not like a thing. I'm going to sensor lock the vehicle. Or should I sensor lock the turret? Um, I would sensor lock the vehicle because we're gonna bypass the turret. I want to know what's over there. On. That's true. Sometimes there are secret missions. Like, is this a secret turret? You know what I mean? Like, is there? Could there be something out there? Yeah, that's true. I honestly don't know. Ring, Ring of Red is a really cool mech game. It's like such a distinct thing. Rob, you should look into Ring of Red. It was a PS2 mech game that really thought of mechs as like siege weapons and kind of artillery units more than like what you think of as humanoid battle machines. A really cool look. I hear ya. What is it called again? Ring of Red. At least okay. look at some of the designs. They're really clever and they're really neat. Yeah, Phantom Brigade is a, another mecha tactics, mech tactics game that's that's in development currently. Um, it's been at like PAX once or twice. Um, Phantom Doctrine is the is the XCOMI. Uh, the XCOMI is probably the wrong word, but you know what I'm saying. Okay. All right, Medusa. Let's see. Ooh, Medusa has like a good gravelly, serious voice. I'm into it. Nice shooting. Good start from Medusa. Yeah, what a what a debut, Medusa. God damn. Looks like, it looks like I left another wreck of the Medusa out there, eh, gang? <laughs> oh my god. Receiving you. Um I'm gonna move him back this way, and maybe not through this geothermal pit. Is that what that is? So, oh that's rough terrain. I saw a geothermal at some point here. Uh, but I'm going to move him back, and then I'm going to have him sensor lock that turret over there. Yeah. I just want to get that thing on board. Because I think everyone will be able to get within... Ooh, or maybe I just... Hmm. Or do we kill this vehicle first so it's not, like, hitting us while we go over to check out that other base? I'm gonna do that. I've got a sensor lock. Oh, another vehicle. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna go great. Oh, and a third vehicle over this way. Okay. That's dead. That thing's nice. toast already. Nice work, tire fire. Kendricks doesn't fuck around. Kendricks was right. They were a gladiator in the arena. What's a tank on that, you know? Yeah. Um, I might reserve and let this... Wait, no, wait, what is yeah. the... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to reserve with them and see what happens. See if somebody else steps into range. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Yes, there we go. Where are you going to shoot at, Striker? Okay. I'm next to a tree. Come on. Damage minimal. Good to go. 
Alright, glitch. Actually, you know what? Let's stay on this with Medusa. Copy that. Copy that. Yeah, come on, that's... There it is! Alright, two for two! Medusa out here trying to play play his way off the bench, Rob! <laughs> what can I do for ya? Honestly, not that much. I'm gonna start moving you towards this other base. Glitch. What was the other Mech Warrior's name? I can't remember. Uh, something about, um, I don't know, who could say? It's kind of a mystery. That's what I think. Did I lose? Beatnik? Was that? Beatnik. That, <laughs> that was it. Her name was Beatnik. All right, Glitch, you and Decker are gonna go check out this other base and see what's what over there. That's my that's my plan. What's up, boss? And then you can sensor lock that turret. Light Shredder Turret, okay. Honestly, just keep feeding me these little these little vehicles. Tire Fire and Medusa will eat them up all day. Yeah? Galleon's a pretty self-aggrandizing name for, yeah. uh, <laughs> for that little thing. <laughs> truly, truly, truly is. Oh, this is gonna go great. This is gonna... Show that turret what for, Glitch. And there it is. Oh, little one-two punch at the PPC and the RMs. Uh, Glitch could just tone things down just a small. Just a little punch. bit. Just, just a little scratch. bit. I would be happier. Yeah, I would be happier. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like uh, Glitch is like you're hanging out, and at least two or three times over the course of the evening, she will have almost. Involved you in a fight? Yeah, a hundred percent. I feel an interesting rivalry developing between Tire Fire and Medusa. Also, I feel like we now know what Medusa is, is also maybe a brawler in combat, you know? Kind of a, a uh, up close, sharp. A not a sharpshooter, but like someone who can, like, that mid range fighter. Maybe brawler is the wrong yeah. word, but like a nice mid range, like. See, I don't know. I think so. I think like tire fire is building to being like the center of our offensive attack. Yes, but like Medusa is gunning to be that like supporting player, Copy sort of that. the outlet passes mm. uh, to just like take those shots from the perimeter. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it goes wrong, everyone's gonna blame Medusa, uh -huh. not tire I'm not fire. Not tire fire. The other good thing. Fair. Fair. Um, yeah, this game has been kind of rough on, on computers, in, in my experience, unfortunately. Uh, people are talking about, uh, how it's been it. optimized or fail or not optimized, as it were. Um, and I've had a pretty good time with it now that I've gotten my RAM upgraded, but even here, even now streaming it to you, you can see that it, like, flickers every now and then. Alright, let's sensor lock that thing. I guess you are now sensor locking it. Okay. Mm. All right. Then goes to the end of the turn. We should be okay. Hey, good hits, deck. Nice job. Glitch can wrap that up with just missiles, honestly. I'm gonna see what's up with this weird base. I don't think anything, but you know what? I'll take the I'll take the kill XP. Is that a thing in this game? That's a thing. I don't know how it works. I don't know how XP really actually works. Smoked 
All right, does not look like I was hoping to find like a secret generator. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead, what we found was a couple military buildings and a bigger military building, and that's it. All right, well let's let's start looping around this way with them. Game, would you just let me run, please? Yeah. So here's a geothermal right here, which they they only seek fifty sink fifty percent of their normal heat. So something to keep in mind. Um. All of their defenses have been killed. All of their all of their non-turret defenses, that is, have been wiped by by us. Thanks to Zenalon for subscribing again. Waiting for orders. Get yourself up there, bud. Waiting for orders. Don't need to tell me twice. All right, so this is another situation where there is kind of a direct route up there. It's not particularly appealing I'm again just seeing this modern mil medium military building medium military building medium military building I think those are also just those building. yeah well these are just outside our sensor range currently which is why they're not displaying all right there's an enemy contact that's gonna be a turret right yeah okay Although the turrets we've encountered have been pretty soft. Yeah, true. So maybe I don't have too much to worry about. Moving Let's see. Receiving you. All right, Doc. Let's get you into this forest. Roger that. Now you can sensor lock a turret for me. Sure do. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, does she have a direct shot from here? Holy shit, that'll be great. All right, yeah. Uh -huh. Is that? Yeah, it's a direct line of sight shot. Boom. Holy hell. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a hit. There it goes. Oh, Gorgeous. yeah, they, they, they have been really soft. This feels bad. It feels like we're doing a bad thing, Rob. Good to go. They're not built for this. I hear ya. Cause then now we're gonna drop back into combat, but we're gonna get to go first again. Uh I'll keep moving people up, but like move order received. I'm gonna not move glitch yet because she might again just have a direct line of fire from down here. Sounds smart. Cooling. And also, yeah, that's what I meant to do was was to cool down glitch after firing that PPC. That's that's the thing I meant. Yeah, good, good play. Yeah, uh huh. Tough call, I know. Position confirmed. All right, glitch. Glitch again has direct fire. Oh, wait, does not? Is that out of range? That's out of range. Okay, how about here? That's not. You betcha. All right, glitch. Make it happen, Captain. She's a captain now. I'm promoted glitch to captain. Fire. Jesus Christ. Their whole strategy of um, placing all their towers in like really high overlook positions, but yeah. with no actual like sensors yeah. outside their base, was not great. Not the best maneuver. Um, I think Decker's gonna get up there and start tearing this place to shit. Yeah. Just let our large adult son loose <laughs> in their base. Wee. Can he blow up any of these buildings? He could, okay, you're going to shoot that medium reinforced building because it has the least structure. Okay, Decker? That one's all you, buddy. Firing on target. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. Will do. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I'm out of combat. Like, why do I not have shots? 
I do. This feels like a fucking... This is... This feels mean, Rob. I mean, I know it's the job, but... We're striking a blow against militarism. Okay, I don't think that's true or how it works. But okay, if you what say so. Sack of Love and Water says, but we're militarism. And I can't help but read it in the Black Dynamite. But Black Dynamite, we sell drugs in the community. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the LRMs here and I'm going to put the PPC there. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Look, any good revolution has certain paradoxes. Ah, I see. Of course. Now, you might be saying, well, are we revolutionaries? To that which is... I would say, what is more revolutionary huh? than reestablishing a dynastic <laughs> claim on a familial throne? Uh huh. True. You got you got me there, Rob. You got me there. Let's blow up this building. Oh, didn't get the building blow up somehow. I don't. I may have just done bad math. Oh no, there it goes. All right. I wish I could do melee damage. I really wish I could just do a yeah, melee hit. You just run around, right? And, like, just, and just spin punch. the circle. Yeah. Target confirmed. Pull up the big building. There you go. Yay! You did it, Decker. Nice work, buddy. Commander. You did it. Pieces falling off the damn side. See, if that can fall off the side, Mech should be able to fall off the the side. Yes, I'm a hundred percent with you. <sighs> Is it so much to ask for? Like, in this system, Kai Allard Love could never sacrifice himself to save Victor, Stein, Victor Ian Steiner Davian uh, by slamming into mm -hmm. a clan mech with uh, Yun Lo Wang. It's true. And knocking him off a cliff into the ocean. Which is cool. On you, Commander. It's a worse world to live in, honestly. Yeah, you're right. Just please glitch just a little, just a little bit less. I'm not asking for a three. I'm just saying not an eleven all the time. Okay. Glitch is never bored with this job, which is great. Which honestly, great. Good for you, glitch. Happy for uh -huh. you. Being in these buildings would be terrifying. Uh, they've been evacuated. Oh, okay, cool. That's Our nice. Orders. That was good of whoever did that, you know? The city has been evacuated. It's all good. Oh, okay. <laughs> the city of Stratholm? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Ryan WH says what I'm sure will be a t-shirt within the year, which is I don't need a morale meter. I have glitch. Was it acquired? Because you missed the building. You missed the building that was standing still, Decker. Decker. You know, missed the damn building. Uh, Is this target acquisition? I love that. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't fucking speak. Tire Fire just missed that other building. So... God damn. Have we seen? To be fair to Decker, he is extremely drunk. <laughs> Maybe Decker is the archer Got of this it. lance. Yeah. Sterling archer, not the mech. Waiting for orders. Can't get, can't get you into shot, shot range. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a direct shot. Here we go. There was a little chuckle at the end of that. Did you hear that? Medusa was like, here we go. It's a little like Vegeta-esque. He's having fun. He didn't want you to know he was having fun, but he is. Is that... Tsundere? That's not Tsundere, no. 
I'm sorry, Rob, but in this case, no, it is not tsundere. <laughs> I appreciate asking. Oh, he did destroy that base. Okay, nice. And we're gonna wrap up here and then get the fuck out. There it goes. All right. Just pick us up. There. Yeah, okay. Mission. Easy one. What an easy one that was. Too easy. We need. We need to encounter other mechs. Is the thing. I know. I know. Well, we Where need the money. Let's mechs? take the money, and now we'll. People uh... of Detroit. <laughs> the people of Detroit do need mechs. You're not wrong. All right. Take no, that they money. Because they, they, they're too militarized. We need to save them from that <laughs> by taking the mechs off this planet. I had no bonus weapons. I'll take the tens, maybe? The AC5? Uh. Yeah, I'd say the. I have the AC5 or the alarm 10. I'm going to take this, this AC5. I'm going to do it. Here we go. That's not M6 I'm bad guy. No, no. Totally. What else is great about that was just like we're now three missions in a row without taking a, a real hard hit, yeah. which it's means all profit. it's all profit and there's not a lot of downtime. I mean, uh, admittedly, we are massively overpaying our staff. Oh, uh, that's, we have that's gone true. into full Silicon Valley startup mode. Uh -huh. where it's like, oh, we got a foosball table. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really. Like this is this isn't just a workplace. Like we like people to have fun here. Yeah. Oh, that's our, that's, that's, that's what we want we right there. That's, you go where the a, mechs are. Yeah, but it's 22 days oh, away. It's 22 days away. Meanwhile. Maybe we just do patrol, which is a battle, which we know is going to be against mechs. Yeah. But we could do this next. And also, look at that, look at that pay. That's a nice payday. That's a nice payday right there. <sighs> Supply convoy might not be bad either. Especially You're really good with the luck with that other mission. Yeah, convoy. yeah, and it's polar, so whew, it's, that PPC does work. Um, yeah, let's do this patrol. Let's do this patrol real quick. We'll wrap that up. We'll kill a bunch of mechs. Sound good? Yeah. We'll be able to spend well, that money that we make from this. Will pay for us to spend 22 days in transit to this. Is what my thought is. So I'm just look at the, the salvage on that convoy. 314 ain't bad. The thing there is that, like, I don't think that's going to be a mech fight. I mean, I guess it could be. They could run some mechs on I mean, us the last on that. one was. Was it? The S oh, you're a right. A lot of mechs came you're over right. the bridge. You're right. A lot of those. You're, you're totally right. Um, the only watch out is it could get out of hand. Mm hmm. But I have got, like, we're doing really well. Mm hmm. Um, we should note this is defending that base, not not crushing it. But this oh, thing is going okay. to get attacked That's by a bunch of mechs for by sure. Mechs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say we do this patrol because we know what's yeah. gonna be there. All right. So you think we take a hit to the pay? And yeah, yeah. Get more we go to three. No, two, two and eight is probably fine, right? Yeah. yeah all right. Um, oh, we should level up. We should level up. We should level up. We did not get much experience. No, you're right. Like 400 each? Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, All weirdly, right. sensor locking stationary <gasps> turrets made of origami uh, did not, <laughs> For 30 minutes. Fact, turn our crew huh. into bad hardened pirates. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, brother. All right, let's just jump in then. Same crew. I'm happy with that same crew. I'll roll that again. I want. I really want to give. I want to give uh, Medusa a real a real run. That was like a little warm up, you know. But now we really need to see what he can do. Kev Bo says, "How did the gorillas go? Had to miss that mission. What, what what gorillas were those? We honestly didn't see. We saw four trucks, you know. Um, but that's about it." And those did not make it, is what I will say. <laughs> those did not have a great time. Command interface 
initiated. All right. These guys, <laughs> These guys are amateurs. Oh, Get boy. eyes on them and take them out. All Good right. Hunting commander. All the way out. All right. Let's do this. Oh, we got, you even got the high ground. Right we even the got the high ground. Yeah, I'm going to not move up too the much. high ground. What was that? What was that? Nothing. I'm just channeling uh, Buford from Gettysburg. Gotcha. Gotcha. I hear ya. Enemy detected. Yep. Sure is one. Get that good run on, on our boy, Decker. Put him in the woods. Coordinates received. Oh, that's a good paint job. I'm happy with these paint jobs. Let's get this done. Decker plunges into the forest. Oh, that's like a with truck. His it's first encounter truck. with pornography minutes yeah, later. <laughs> uh, let's see what this thing is, huh? Roger that. Right, it's a scorpion, which is what AC five. Okay, AC five is nothing not to joke with. But forty-five ton mech. I was hoping for no, no, it's not. Um, fuck it, man. All right, it's gonna probably shoot a Decker. So we're, this is our first chance in a while to see Decker not get shot. You know, really put in the work of oh, uh, that wasn't what's moving next. Apparently, that's what's moving next. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Um, Good all right, Medusa. Go. You've already started showing us that you're good at blowing up bullshit. Let's see some more of that. Oh, man, you're going to have him shoot through that building? Yeah, fuck that building. Hell yeah. Oh, boy, it totally is. Oh, it's not going to register that, unfortunately, but in our minds, we know. We know what but this is. But he's, like, drawing a bead through, yes. like, a window at oh, the top exactly. of that tower. That did go through. It didn't get the kill, but it, it went through. Oh boy, Decker's out there getting shot at again. <laughs> All right, tire fire again is like I'll show you how it's done. It's gonna shoot through the top of this silo. <laughs> Grain is gonna come falling out from this. There it is. Didn't need all that. Didn't need all that. Call that shit overkill. We're making a point. Yes. We are demoralizing the rest of the uh, defenders right, here. Right, right. Yes. Fair. Uh, can I get in range of that other thing over there? No. Okay. Then just, just you know what? You sprint up here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. <laughs> More vehicles, huh? Y'all said this was a lance. This is barely a javelin. Wait. If they don't give me a single mech rob, I'm going to be upset. Yeah. But also, it's looking that way. This is like the Bull Durham of Battle Tough <laughs> campaigns. Yeah. Here it comes. Alright, cut right through that. Hey! hey! I didn't think good job, hey, bud! Nice shooting. <laughs> Look at you! This is really gonna be four vehicles game? Really? All right. I'm not going to say no to the quick bucks, but like that salvage is just not paying off. I really got to know what was going on with this whatever quiver paid us to do this that they couldn't deal with this themselves. A mech could have de dealt with this shit. Waiting on you, commander. Not like a bunch of mechs, a mech. We just send Decker. Right. Just like go clean this up. God. Get rowdy down there, son. 
Yeah, the next the, so the thing is, someone said we, we need to do the next story mission. Both of us had a slightly better uh, kind of bay built by the time we did that next story mission. We both thought that maybe was still kind of rough. Right, that next one's a little rough. I'd like to go into that a little healthy, you know, if I can. Yeah. All right. Decker, you can... Hey, there you go. Take the shots from here. Pretty far out. I'll be impressed if you get the kill. He's been working on his gunnery. He has. In all I'm not going to spend a precision shot on this. I just want to... Okay, you hit once. That's all right. 65%. That's that's what that is. Waiting on you, Commander. Medusa, wrap it up. Uh, half wing scene notes uh, the skulls are tonnage recommendations a half skull is a 50 ton recommendation which is either two locusts or one blackjack so that's fair that was a milk run that was a milk run yeah all right we could do one one skull if we want to yeah and then we'll wrap after that I, I expected that to be a little bit hardier of a fight Uh, Zenalon says, so this may be spoilery, but I've got uh, I, I've got about 20 hours into the game. Do you ever get to command more than one lance? There are upgrades for what looks like um, eight more slots in the mech bay. No, you don't ever command more than one, that I, as far as I know. Um, those slots are for situations where you're like, you, le you get beat to shit and then don't have the money to spend repairing stuff. Uh, and instead are just like, all right, I need to just go back out on another mission because I need the money. Um, I'm going to take these LRM-10s this time. And we got the AC-5 and the SRM-6s. All right. And a couple bucks, you know? We're good to inform you. Danica is tweeting. Oh, yeah? About about what? About you? saying she has some new logo ideas. Okay. Waypoint. Where'd she put those at? On her uh, personal. Okay. Let me, uh, on Danica. Danica Harad. Okay. Great. That's a logo right there. That's Those yeah. are... I see. I see now. Yeah. Now I see. Cool. Um, all right, so we can go to this base and do this defense, which is which is a one-ton mission. We, what we made in that last mission will, will pretty much uh, make up for the, the the time spent moving. And we could go up to 314. That's a big drop, though, dude. But we need big boys. We do need big boys. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's just not that game. I don't think Xenalon. Like, I, I think that they wanted you to command. I could imagine, uh, you know, an expansion or a follow-up game being six or something. But like, I can't imagine them this game being the thing of like I'm commanding twelve units or God. eighteen, you know, or sixteen. Um, mostly because I think it would. I mean, maybe this is what they. Maybe this is what you want. But for me, I think it would lead to really sloppy play on my behalf, um, because there's just like a limit to my interest level when I'm commanding individual units like that. You know, it's so weird. Like, on one on the one hand, I really miss, like, so the the original XCOM from the early '90s. Like, there are cool things that only exist in that game because you're like leading squads of like a dozen or 20 troopers out on the field where like you are doing things that, again are really leaning heavily on attrition like rookies basically being sent out there to draw fire so that your veterans can move up and support and get line of sight on targets and those are cool beats like right. the fact that these are like bloody grueling battles uh with all these troops like fanning out across the map is really cool i will never play a game like that again right right uh um... like, just the pace of play is so sluggish Hey, what if I buy this and put this in our mech, in our Shadowhawk? Plus one melee I like hit. It. Uh, I've never used these yet in my main play. Did you really put your hips into it? Yeah, so gyros counteract the massive amounts of momentum generated from mech engines and allow for precision maneuvering and recovery from stability impacting uh, attacks. All mechs come equipped with a stock gyro, which can be upgraded for improved performance. And it just gives you plus one melee hit. So, like, yeah, let's do it. 22k? Oh, man, I got that. 
What's up? Vehemently points out, I mean, Xenonauts exists. And I right. have been to play that game for no fewer than four out of the last five years. Right. Keep keep Medusa up. Kind of just leveling up up the middle here. Um, Standing by. Waiting for orders. Still not really enough to do anything with anybody here. Um, all right, I might put this one point into tactics. No, I'm not. I want that multi shot. I'm gonna be patient. You gotta be patient, you know. Uh, but what I might do is let's see how long it'll take to refit and toss this gyro in. Oh, that can only go in the middle. Interesting. Okay. Do you know if it matters if this is even? Not to my knowledge. Okay, so I can just move this jump jet wherever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be. Similar. Also, wait a second. I want. I don't want this SRM ammo in there anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna put that back. Where do I want this SRM ammo though? I don't want it in center torso because I don't want any chance of it critting and blowing me up. God, this is making uh, me want to tinker because I want to get rid of these LRMs, but I shouldn't. Um, well. What if you did? But what if I did? What would I put in there? That, so there's only missiles there. Slots available on the Shadowhawk. Three ballistics here, right? One missile in the head. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hear me on this. I'm listening. We got that SRM-6. We do have that SRM-6. So if you really want just a... No, keep the SRM too. What, like, why not? Right, you're saying... But you really want to just get in your face and yeah. like mess shit up, Mac. Yeah. You're saying we do this. Look at that. Oh, we need more yeah. ammo. We would need another row of SRM wait, ammo. Wait, how, do we? How much is in the SRM ammo? Oh, maybe bag? you're right. Uh, 100, 100 rounds. rounds. So that's we'll be firing in eight per... Eight. All right. All right. That's I don't like think you're firing that more 13 than... 13 shots? Like, yeah, that's yeah. probably right. That's probably right. And then, like, there's just going to be less material. Like, I think it matters that... I haven't, ver I haven't verified this. Does it work like it is in the Battletech game where the amount of ammo that is remaining in the bay does the correct damage on the inter internal explosion? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, though. Uh, here's a question, though. Wait one second. Does it make more sense... No, that's fine. Yeah, that would work. I was trying to figure out if the heat cost was different in such a way that we would rather have SRM-2s even out, but no, the SRM-6 is actually cheaper on heat. It's only 14 heat for six shots, whereas the SRM-2 is six heat for, for two shots. Support weapon would be great. Uh, this, doesn't, this does have a support weapon slot. Where is that? Oh, it's over here. We have to cut something else out, though. I'm not ready to get rid of a heat sink yet or anything, you know? Yeah, I'm, I, I mean, we I'm could, pretty but... unmoved by support weapons. I mean, they're cool. Even for this build, I'm pretty unmoved by If them. I had a little more room, if this was a heavy, I would figure out a way to make it work. Um, but I'm not ready to pull armor off of anything yet, you know? Yeah, I don't want to move it. I don't want to get rid of a heat sink. I, I'm already... I mean, it's only one medium laser, so maybe, but... Um, we still don't have MG. It's only... It's, oh, God, it's only half... I could get rid of a jump jet. That would even it out. But... But I like jump jets. Yeah, I could get rid of the SRM too, but I want that heavy. If I'm gonna be in the face and just dropping small missiles, like let's do, let's do it, let's do the thing. It's true. I could pull the SRM off. I could pull the SRM off and then use the rest to armor up a little bit more. The SRM too. But I'm not sure it's worth it. You know? I don't know. I mean, okay, so what's the, what's this thing punch at right now? 95 or something? 95. So, eh, Does that say something somewhere? Could. The small laser could help. The small laser could, pop, like... Meaningful. It's meaningful on every punch. That's another 20. Yeah. Like, that's not bad. 
Uh, so yeah, for okay. people listening at home, the the uh, support weapon hard points are uh, support weapons fire even when you're punching, even when you're doing melee attacks, which is why we're trying to figure this out. Okay, what is um, how much armor can we strip off the left arm? Oh, good call. There's nothing in that slot. Yeah, I mean it's useful hit points just to yeah, it's a shield like, cover that, but and it's money because if we want to repair that left arm, it'll call it'll start costing us money. Yeah. But at the same time, like we can just do it. We can just do it. Yeah, we can drop to forty there, and that's it. That's a play. I mean, then we just have to like make a mental note to keep that left arm slightly like more protected. Sheltered. Yeah. 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 Totally. No, Quadra Quadrophenic, We don't have like any bonus mechs right now. Like we're we're on our starting set basically. Um. So. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to replace the SRM six with two SRM twos. So that hurts our heat really bad. Uh, each of those, and so I guess it would be. I guess it would be less, but it actually wouldn't be more heat. But it wouldn't be as much damage. Um, yeah, I could do like we could do like seventy five, seventy five on legs, and then boost this back up by ten. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, let's roll with it. I'm gonna keep these. I'm. I'm, I'm happy with this. Oh, it's going to take days, though. Ooh. Oh, maybe I'm not happy with it. But that's where I'm six. It's going to take a week. We have the money. Let's let's sit on it. We don't have the we don't have that nice mech bay that we're going to get in the future. 17 days is a lot of days. Yeah, that's... Boy, that's an expensive... Look, we're, we're in it. We're in it. You know what? Let's just do it. Um, we could also go light, right? Like, we could... This could be the bad decision Ooh. time. You see Bring what I'm the saying? Locust Bring the, the locust and the out spider out there. It's only a one-ton difficulty mission, right? Okay. I am really intrigued. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. While the Shadowhawk is being, is being worked up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm, I'm saying? Uh, I'm actually so into this. And we run the... We run... What do we run? No, we run in that locust because that locust is a death trap, but our guy can't die. But our guy can't die. Yeah. Yeah. Like we will, we will carry that ring to Mordor. Let's do it. We haven't. We've had. <laughs> this is also the sort of decision I think Kendricks would make. They would be like, "Listen, those last two things have been milk runs. We've had we've had two in a row that are bad. You know." Um, the red shirt's been in missions with us now. It's been a Medusa. Um, yeah, let's do it. I think we do it. I think we roll. Not this decision. Let's, let's do go. it. Let's, let's do drop, it. Drop, drop, drop. Dropped. Oh, it's a great, ridiculous, bullshit mission we're about to do, Rob. Yeah, what we should have done is taken that, done all that work beforehand, so that when we traveled, it was happening in the background. <laughs> Awesome, quick question. Yeah. What weight level did our, uh, did our one. come in we're, at? We're, it exactly we're is one. One, it's one. It's one to one. Per, yes. We are perfect. Sure, this is a defense mission, which means, you know what, the extra speed is going to let us engage We're going more. to have an active mobile defense, which is, of course, the best defense. Yep. Uh, yeah. God... All right, let's knock this out. Command interface initiated. Ooh. Looking good, planet. Unknown types. This is definitely a place. Oh, this is a mistake. We don't fucked up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And also, this is a hot... Decker. It's a bad loan. Uh-huh. Decker, go let me know what's over there. Go take a look. Look at this cool fucking base. This oh, is, this is very... This is a city. Um, into the breach. Yeah, this is very into the breach. Aye, aye. Yay! The last numbers are here. Also, wait, are we... Are they being attacked by Canopians? Aren't we... Mm, aren't we working with the Canopians? But tire fire! <laughs> Look, the Inner Sphere is a very complicated place. It's Game of Thrones in space. Oh, right. Um, I forgot that, about yeah. that it was Game of Thrones in space. Just kicking some big barrels and shit around. Just running through buildings. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Jesus Christ. Look, they weren't paying to keep that. Ten rounds? Safe. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I think it just cut over to where there was an enemy, but it didn't. I think I moved the mouse and it. I lost it. Uh. Alright, turn one safe. Turn one safe. Should I keep somebody? I should keep somebody over on the other side just to make sure we're not going to get jumped on the other side. Just extend our sensor range out. I'm going to keep Decker on one yeah, side. Decker should keep roving. Yeah. Yeah. Like every turn, I'll just have him bounce oh, around. Right. We suspect they're coming this way. Repeat of, but uh, yeah, um, they've done some bait and switches with. Uh, they sure with have. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Someone points out we're ten percent done. You're right. That was good God, old city rusty looks so windows. Much like the um, that level in Psychonauts where the sea creatures imagine mm. Raz as a kaiju. Right. Oh, we are the kaiju this time. Yeah. No one has bulwark here. I don't think. Uh, 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 Behemoth did, but she's on base. We're working up to it. Yeah, we should have brought Behemoth over Medusa here, probably, but it's okay. Well, All right, so Medusa far so good. Earned. A starting spot. Uh huh. Or at least a spot in the rotation. Yeah, definitely at least that. All right, here we go. Mineral field. We learn this play. Anything out here? No. Aha! Enemy detected. There they are. Let's brace. Decker. Uh, Bring wait. Uh -huh. Do we want Decker to move right back there? Or do we want to like have him swing out, like this uh, way? Like yeah, and just make sure the nothing's coming over the um, lakes. Yeah, let's do that. That's fair. And then next turn he'll swing back up. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Next turn's gonna be the turn. How, how much? How many? Okay. Let's get let's get some good evasion up. What are they? I'll say the game is struggling a little bit right now, which is weird. Yeah. Um, it's all that bodega ram. Probably. I'm going to close a browser window real quick. Um, okay. All right, they're moving in four, so those are lights. Those are both lights is what those are. Oh, three of them are lights? Are there three lights here? Good to go. Ay, 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 ay. All right, let's put Decker in the woods and have him sensor lock. Oh, no, it's three of them. There's three lights coming in. That's what that is. Um, which means the sensor lock isn't going to do shit for us. Outside of let us know what these things are. Uh, I'm just going to brace. He's, he actually doesn't... He's not yeah. in range to sensor lock anyway. Uh, and then I think I might reserve tire fire. We'll see. Tire fire reserve. Hold those evasion ticks. Make them come to us. Is that not in sight? Really? Huh. Yeah, they could be little baby commandos. That's not that's totally true. All right, game. You can you can do it, buddy. This game is is like revolting against our plan. It's like no, this is the wrong decision. Why would you do this thing? Oh fuck! Still not in range, huh? Waiting for order. All right. Well, glitch. Can glitch get into better PPC range? Yeah, glitch can jump up and just toast this thing, huh? Hell yeah. Time to fly. 
All right, what do we got? Locusts. Two locusts. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. What's split the... fire. Do you think split fire, or do you think precision strike hit this thing in the cockpit and it's dead? It's a lot of invasion. 75, 33. You're right, it is a lot of evasion. You're right. Ugh. <sighs> Do the, there we go. Split fire. Kill that evasion. Miss with the PPC. Okay. Uh, those are those are those distance things in the in the. Um, wait, do they have a do they have a, a medium? No. Okay. Um, so if you take a look, these are the different. Um, uh, ranges. These are like optimal ranges, also. So that m the lighter it is, the more op the more optimal the range is for stuff, right? So like, if I'm guessing right, this middle, this brightest one is where medium lasers and eight, and my AC twos are all in good range. This one will be just the AC twos with the medium is effective but not strong, and this will be outside of of uh, medium laser range altogether, and this is inside of um, AC2 range. Uh, I cannot get to where it's like great, but I can get to, I can get to here. Engaging jump check. All right, here I think I'm gonna use the precision strike and try to take this thing out in a single shot. Medusa do it. Mm, didn't get the shots where I needed them. Did weaken it up, though. Mm. Could get up to there and take that ML shot. I like it. I mean, could get... Can't get into, into actual melee range, unfortunately. Um, but could get four ticks here and take the shot. Let's see how it goes. All right, tire fire. It's more of a side shot in retrospect. Should have should have gone over to the right a little bit more, but oh, that's a hit! Come on! Oh, it's at five <laughs> structure. Oh, Jesus! Oh yeah, split fire. Using multi fire to clear evasion is like the is the thing you want to do. Hundred percent. Can Decker get closer, bud? Could kill this thing for sure. That fire starter's scary as shit. Boy. Thoughts, Rob? I wouldn't go in. I'll take it off the fucking board. Yeah. You know, that's, uh. I mean, it's bald. And. Oh, you know, what's it doesn't the point go... of an immortal character if you're not going to be bold? It doesn't go until the next turn. Until the next round. Because it was precision fired last turn. Oh, right. Um, I could come up and roll with Decker from the from the long, from like way out and see if I if I can pop it. You know? I would like to hold Decker back for a, for, uh, for a sensor lock on someone after they move. Good call. Smart call. Um, I could also go in and open up on this fire starter. Um, uh, but I would hate if you just get swatted down like so early. Like, yeah, you really need to keep up harassment with that thing. Yeah. I'm just trying to decide which is the safest. All right, we know this. We actually know this, right? We want the right side to be the side facing them, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's do it. Oh no, that was with the Shadowhawk, not this thing. Yeah, it was like I was. That's fine. That's that fine. Is under construction. Yep. Here come the MGs. Not gonna do much. Nope. Nope. Bad one. Bad turn. Are you gonna do the same to me? Is that what's gonna happen? What are we doing? <sighs> All right. Oh, no. no, we're fine. We're fine. Structure is exposed now. Now we're bad. Uh, Rob, I think we have to throw that Hail Mary here, otherwise we're going to get fucking killed by this locust. 
Also, they're not, they don't have that many pips. The locust or the fire starter could end up with one, but I think that they're in brawl mode. Yeah. Okay. Decker, save my ass. Nope, didn't. Yes, yes, Decker! <laughs> Target neutralized. Just stone cold. <laughs> Just stone cold! Oh, I love you, Decker. I should have never doubted you. <laughs> Kendrick's tire. I have never stopped going in. Fire Castellica. Yep. Here comes the fire. Here it comes. No? Chose not. To oh my god. Okay. I hear ya. Boy, now I wish we'd... Yeah. Uh, well, no, he, had to make no. That shot. he had to make that shot, and he made that shot. Yep. And he did make that shot, you know? Um, also, this fire started to just turn its back to me, which... Yeah. I mean, I guess it has all that defensive... I mean, again, Glitch makes the move, does... Does fire Multi-fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and at the very least, the Locust goes down. And yeah. everyone will be behind the fire start, be behind the fire yes. starter, so... next turn, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's put the LRM and the uh, and the PPC here, and then put the medium laser here. I guess. Uh, I would say the. Well, yeah, I would say the PPC. PPC on the back one for sure. PPC is gonna kill that locust, probably. Maybe. It might not hit. And also, good if it kills it, good. Yeah. Line let's do it. All right, it, it hit it. And Golly. Oh, it did not blow it up. It did not get the kill. It did just tear its fucking arm off. And the medium laser misses. That's okay. I keep expecting, like, a truck to show up on the other side of this thing and try yep. to fuck us up. But, um, the rear shot's still not great. But if I could, I could, I could, I could. I'm just gonna make sure I'm looking at the actual rear here. Yeah. All right. I could do this and then precision shot no its back off. Medusa, show me you got that spirit. Overheat alert. I'll pull off one of these medium lasers. We'll be good. Uh, no, take off the ACs. Oh, the ACs. You're right. You're right. You're right. Nice call. <laughs> you didn't get the kill. Oh, no, you did not get the kill. <laughs> but I appreciate... I <laughs> Okay, Medusa. I might have to put you back on the bench. <laughs> Medusa doing his best Dirty Harry. He was sort of saying that the way um, yes, Andre Brower says punk on uh -huh. 199. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Uh, what, what's, what's he have there? Nothing there? Mm. I really wish this locust was a little more beat up. Oh, yeah, but you could circle around and shoot it again from that wounded side. From that wounded side, yeah. From, like, to here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the play. God, it's like it just jingling cans. Nice, there goes the left torso. And we broke in, at least, into the uh, into the center. Alright, what do you have? Let's show me what you got. <laughs> yeah, you're going Somebody after just to turn around and slap that thing. That's gonna happen. It's about to. It might be Decker. 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 The Decker again does more damage, damage with shooting. shooting yeah. Right? yeah. 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 Although, hmm. You know, the thing is, there's a lot of evasion on that thing. That's true. How much is on the uh, fire starter? Two. Two on the fire starter. You get back behind it again. I could ace it. Yeah, and that could it. stop it from. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, if I if I hit it. Hmm. 60% there. 
Yeah, I think that's the right play. I shoot it in the back here. Yeah. Can you make it so that I'm not going to get... I mean, it doesn't... We need to make that kill next turn, but... I'm trying to see if I can get... Yeah, okay. Uh, that okay. says it's both. That says it's both, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I could DFA, but I'm not going to... Listen. <laughs> this it's is early. going well, yeah. Alright! Alright! Good hits! Aha! There they are! Son of a... Two more lights. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, we got to clean this up right away. Ready for orders. We're again in the situation. Uh, you know what? I need to burn down some of this uh, heat, though. Yeah. Slap this thing. You missed. You missed, Medusa. You missed. You that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. All right, glitch. And now Medusa's oh, the fire like starter can go. There. Yeah, the fire starter gets to go next. Oh no, and Medusa's so hot. Yeah, it's gonna overheat us real bad. Oh wait, went for Decker. Went for Decker instead. Ha! <laughs> that was not the play. That was not the play. All right, that's in range. That's up. Oh, yeah. Okay. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's multi-shot this thing. PPC there. Oh, no, PPC there, and... Ooh, do I not have enough for both? Ooh, go, go, go. I mean, I guess I could just medium laser instead of PP. I could save that PPC. Yeah. Yeah. And, I like and that. burn off some of that heat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not the shot I wanted. That's fine. It's fine. And then these can hit. It's also not the shot I wanted. We get to go again, though, so this should be fine. We should be able to... Oh, wait, did they get to go again? Do they have somebody else low? Is it those new mechs? Could be. All right, no, it's us. Okay. What do we got? Uh, medium lasers on Decker can please kill some bullshit. Who? Ha I thought one of these two had... So Locust has the center one. That's weak. Yeah. Okay. On my way. It's a low percentage hit there. Because I didn't realize it, but I backed out. And do you see that? The, the last minute, that little hump makes it um, indirect yeah. or, or, or obstructed. So you think maybe I just go in here? And pop the leg, hopefully. Or do I roll for it and hope that the yeah, one of these... Don't get lazy. Keep moving. I moved. I just moved. Yeah. Uh, oh, do we only have... I thought we... Is it showing only two evasion on our locust? No, that's their locust. Their locust, okay. Yeah. The camera angle... That was not a our... great roll. No, this is taking Fuck. forever to wrap these guys up. Like, yeah, dude. A good start. I mean, this now... is the this is the thing about... about Two things. One, splitting fire. It's like we're wearing them both down, but like we probably could have had them if we were if if I had played a little bit more aggressive. And then uh, the second thing is um, uh, yeah, lights. On, the might be the move. on this one. Yeah, because there's so much exposed structure. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but it shows right back to that fire starter. Is the thing. Yeah. I go like here. I mean, it's just gonna wrap around on me no matter what, right? Yeah. So I yeah. gotta roll the roll the dice here. I guess I could have popped the. Ah, uh, I could have popped the fire starter in the back. I didn't realize that the fire starter's back was open. God damn it! Bad play. I mean, that's okay. That's a kill. But I could have killed the fire starter and kept it from going. Damn it. That's right. Maybe they'll move one of the other one. I mean, they're gonna move all theirs now. That's what's gonna happen. All right, let's see. Who's the fire starter to go after? Really? Going after Glitch, I think? 
gotta go after Decker and the spider again. Why are you making no, this bad leave decision? Leave him alone. Yeah, like what is your deal? <laughs> I'm taking internal damage. You're fine. You're good. Don't even worry about it. Also, we win in four he rounds. Must be so, so scared in there. Yeah, I know. I know he is. All right, and these ones are turned the fuck around. <laughs> I hear ya. Um, can she? Wait, uh, they're taking the long way. They are taking. I don't know what they're doing. They're being fools. Um, is what they are doing. Is there a better shot for me on these? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, is that the side? It's No, it's left side is the bad side, right? Mm, it's hiding its left side. That's the right call. But... I can do this. I'm gonna go back a spot. I want that good... Here we go. 55s and 60s isn't bad. There we go. Let's we'll just hit it straight on with this blackjack. Medusa, you gotta make this, you gotta make this one pop. Um. Alright. No, the leg didn't even go. Hit the head. That's something. I really wanted to be able to redirect Lich to just open up on these those new ones this turn. Uh, which maybe I'll be able to do anyway, because I'll get to go again at the top Good of the turn. Go. But, like, she could go here and just lay into these guys, you know? Yeah. Just PPC them. Let's make sure she has as clear of a path as possible on the on them. I think it's here. I leap. Yeah, are they also hiding in a mineral patch again? Yep, they are. Mineral field. God damn these things. They are so... such assholes. I'm gonna end this locust. I'm gonna end the... Mm. In fact, I don't even need to do that, do I? I can just do a regular attack on the... Oh, yeah, I do. I do. 80% uh, here. Oh, it's showing its back to me? Okay. That's a choice you made. Um, Targeting enemy just torch this thing. Well, took off the le left side torso again. Jesus. Can't catch a break, man. <laughs> There's a boat? What is happening? <laughs> I haven't seen any hovercraft in this game yet. Me either. Alright, we're going to end this thing because this thing's weak on the back. This is a back shot. MGs plus plus laser. Tire fire, close this thing out, please. All weapons committed. Left leg destroyed. There we go. There oh we go. my god. Well, it felt like we were physically just disassembling that. It really did. It's gonna move into the water. Okay. Standing by. Okay. okay, so I haven't seen the AI fail this hard very often, but, uh... Whew. This is bad. This ain't good. They're just kind of fleeing now? <laughs> I weirdly think because we got out there and started fighting them on their territory, that they were yeah. not sure of what to do. Like... Because normally that mission works by, like, we get swarmed, you know? Um, yeah. And then... And then like, we just are like, oh no, there's like seven, there's like six light mechs. But they couldn't do that here. <coughs> Waiting on you, Commander. All right. Uh, can Medusa get a shot in here? Yeah. This feels like one of those things where, like, somebody drew up this plan of attack without ever actually looking at the map. <laughs> and they're yeah. like, you're an attack from over here. You're going to come through the water. They'll yeah. never see you. Uh, it's gonna show its back. Like I'm gonna shoot at it. Okay, good shot. Glitch, can you can you wrap this with some like AOE type shit? I hear ya. Coordinates received.
could do this and split it so that we put oh man they're both so weak um I really need a turn of just of just not having that PPC on. You see what do I'm talking. Just, do we what just do brace? Yeah, and then oh, clean but, up. Yeah, but it's so wide open here. I think just missiles because missiles are okay. really just missiles yeah. on the locust is what I want to do. And like we're basically we're basically fishing to see if we can hit it in the rear twice. No, did not hit it in the rear at all. In fact, that's all right. Yeah, I think he's just sending tanks through the water, which is funny. Boy, I wish Decker had multi-shot. Um. That puts them both in range. Let's wrap it up, Deck. The little spider is so funny looking. God. Oh my god, he hit both shoulder Lordy, plates. Are you on. kidding me? One of those is gonna... <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> and now he's gonna get a headshot. Watch, it's yeah, gonna watch happen. watch him get killed. God. Yeah. I'm showing minor damage. Okay. Look at the back of this unit. It's just nothing. It's just nothing there at all. And she can't get... Or are they, oh god, this is the worst. Oh, tire fire, please get there. No. Ugh. Oh yeah, this happened to me before. Uh, Half Wing Scene says, I had a bug mission the other day, reinforcements came on turn one, I got swarmed by nine mechs at spawn, was being fired upon by panthers before I got to move. Pretty sure it was a bug, because after I killed everything, I got a bark telling me reinforcements were on the way, followed immediately by mission complete. <laughs> there goes his right arm. Yeah, I had that happen the other day, too. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Uh, do we need to get Decker out of there? Yeah, we might need to. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna get a pip of evasion, and then Multi-target. Multi-shot. Yeah. Um, and I think we might want to multi-shot. Is there a penalty to shooting out of rough terrain as well? I don't think so. It's just to hit in and and they take extra stability damage. But none of these things have like missiles. They're not. There's no yeah. missile boats out here. So, all right. What so do we you're got? Just unsteady on rough terrain. Yeah, or exactly. You're, you're, you're easier to upset. On yeah. Rough terrain. All right. I think it's. I want to kill the scorpion because it gets to go next. Yeah. It might be what it is. It might be this. Like. Yeah. Put it uh, up there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That's what I'm mm. Yeah. All right. No problem. I've got it is. It's just an what underwater under? tank. All right. <laughs> you know what? The grizzly death. Yeah. Oh, missed it. That's okay. We still have plenty of things. We still have Medusa to go. Jesus. <laughs> Christ. Rob, oh my god. Rob, none of them have any. I have seen armor. assault mechs go down. Like Yeah, seriously. Yeah, unfortunately, they're now both facing me, right? Yeah, that's okay. Just move up and shoot these fucking things, please. Had to miss. Ah, oh, yes, thank Medusa. Finally. Thank God. All right. Two rounds left, and they have two things on the board. Here comes that other scorpion. I think couldn't even make it out of the water. Okay. All right. Uh, does Decker jump out of there? I think so. But first, I'm gonna move in and. and well, shoot. they're aren't they gonna go if uh, we leave Decker there? Uh, just right you're right. You're right. Just the just the spider does, but. But yeah. God, I wish his back was showing. I really do. No, Je yeah, Decker gets out. Decker jumps out. Keep him safe. 
Keep them secret. Keep them safe. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, classic, classic line. Keep them secret. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. Yep. Um, and then, just for fun, like this thing doesn't. I guess we could sensor lock this so that we could. Uh, we don't have to like get close. So we can LRM it from a distance. Here comes that spider. I'm not going to eject Decker. That's a huge waste. Um, Alright, tire fire. Can you really not get any closer? Oh, you're killing me. Alright, burn off one of those evasions. Decker's fine. Oh, good center hit. Tire fire. Tire fire is like, yeah, I gotta go. I got things to do today. I gotta record a podcast still. Uh, so, can we wrap this up or not? Nah? Eat him up, Medusa. There it is. All right. And oh, here we go. All right. Oh my God, Rob, this has been such a slog, yeah. but I think we're out. PPC knocks it out. But it's like the thing about these last couple missions, they've oh, been way God. less fun than this game usually is. It's because we're like doing missions that are too easy. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, yeah. We should we push should next next mission so next. Uh, yeah, next next week when or next time we play, we should push ourselves to do the the much more difficult story mission next. You know? Yeah. But yeah, Medusa. I think we've we've noticed that Medusa is definitely worth investing in here. Um, we're gonna get like nothing out of this. Mercenary review rating. That's great. Sure. Um, we have to repair this fucking spider now. Uh, and we can, you know, we could build a new locust. No, we couldn't build a new locust. Yeah, do that. And then, is the one V the one that is? I wish I could see the weapon build out here. Yeah, this is the SRM one. So I could grab one of those. Yeah. Not that we're going to build one, though. Do you know what I mean? No. Like, I'm just going to turn this into money. So yeah. maybe we grab the two one Vs, and then if we grab a third one later, we just turn it into money, right? Yeah. We got the other one anyway. We got all of the mech parts. Sure. They don't want this shit. They're like, we don't need this bullshit. The fuck out of here. All right, that's going to do it for us. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow with actually a really cool stream. I mean, we're going to probably try to do um, XCOM in the morning. So Chance will we'll try to change that and maybe do Fortnite in the morning instead because Fortnite's getting this update um but we'll see but all day uh all day tomorrow we are doing it is the one year anniversary of our forums and Danica has been working hard with the with the forum mods and the community team to put together a nice all day streaming thing from the community with all the mods streaming stuff I'm really excited to see what everybody streams and to, to hop into a couple of streams if I get the chance to um so so shout out to that and shout out to the community and for the community team and the mod teams who have been busting their asses for a long time uh both on the forums on the discord uh you know everywhere who, who kind of help make the community what it is so um uh thanks for hanging out with us today uh I hope everybody uh enjoys the enjoyed the stream today and enjoys the streams tomorrow um, and, uh, oh, also quickly, Rob, your, uh, your review of Mech Warrior is now up on YouTube. People should go watch this really great video. You, uh, AKA review. Battletech. What did I just say? Mech Warrior. God, I'm tired. Battletech. Which is very easy to do. Like It is, even for people like us. In everyone's brain, these are the same thing. Exactly, which it isn't. That's not true. It's not what it is. Uh, so it's, it's, it's up on YouTube, youtube.com slash waypointvice. Uh, and you can, as always... Follow everything we do, waypoint.vice.com, twitter.com slash waypoint, uh, and facebook.com slash waypointvice. Right here, of course, twitch.tv slash waypoint. Rob, where can people find you on the internet? At Rob Zachney on Twitter. Uh, and follow me at Austin underscore Walker. Uh, again, we'll be back a little bit later. Uh, we'll look forward to, um, to Waypoint Radio later tonight. Peace.